Cashman syrup. Syrup. But see if we can make it accurate, which we can do. Stream on. Stream away. This is very. Huh? Very daiquiri. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, dripping. I got ice because it's just was being made, so I figured, hey, ice. All right. Literally fresh ice made. Oh, I can take that. That I brought that over to Don Michelle's house. Oh, okay. I didn't want to shake, so I just bring this. this and is your room? Yeah. Well, you even put your picture on Duolingo. Look at you. I did. It's an old picture because you know, I used to not be fat, so <laughs> it's a better picture. <laughs> so you just never change it? Is that what you use for um, Tinder too? No. Uh, <laughs> that, that's uh, that's surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oops. Tinder. I don't think I've ever signed up for Tinder. Are you started doing French? What? I just wanted to see what I was going on in French because I mean, I, je parle un peu français. Uh, no, no, you know. uh, your mother does not. <laughs> Because I see. Mother? I want to learn. I wanted to see what they teach English, but I don't know another you language know. that I could do it in. <laughs> right, you have to do English as a Spanish speaker at some yeah, point. Yeah, at some point, maybe if I get good enough. Because I'm just curious, like what the English language, what the English courses are. Right, how how they go about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is live. Our stream. Um, I gotta bring up the chat, so I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, that goes to that. Yeah, we must be alive. Francis, oh, looks like there's already somebody here. If I could pop this out. Pop out, chat. What is the oh, it's going this side. It's been like a long time, so I don't know what I'm doing. Francis, bien sûr. Oh, that's not the right window. There we go. Oh. Dragging. Is that backwards? I don't think so. Not that matters. I mean, is the chat normally on that side or on the other side? It makes more sense on that side because if we're looking at it, we're looking no, closer no, to the camera. We always look here. Okay. I don't know this is. I thought it was on the other side for some reason. It's been a long time now. It's been a couple months. A couple months. So we'll do these two things first, then, since we can. Your thing, and then we can do my thing, and then we can do okay. the show thing. I, um, I, I think I have an extra recipe in there, but I don't remember. Thing, thing, thing. Uh, what do you want to do first? Then? Uh, you can do your your thing. A little bit. After I make that stop, that chaos, that would be sticky chaos. Yeah. Near Dan. There is that thing's big. What? Is it, oh, he yeah. is it heavy? Oh, that's not heavy. No, they changed it a little bit, or the design. It's a mirror. Used to be a, just a button, like a physical play button. Where are you put it? You put it up here? I think I'm putting it right there, but I depends on where. It doesn't matter the camera wise, huh? Well, it does if it bounces the reflection into it. No, it doesn't bounce the reflection. No, not there, it doesn't. It's hard because it's like a little bit of light will like uh, wash it out, right? Yeah. It's kind of washed out. But the button you can see. It's not right. Good. It's like a negative space thing. Yeah. Would they uh, hit you for that? Hit me? Yeah. Did you have to pay for it? No. No? No. I just oh, said cool. it to you. I was under the impression they made you pay for it. No, I they just. You have basically once you hit that number, you're supposed to get something in your dashboard that says, "Hey, click here to claim your award." But that didn't pop up, and they're like, "Oh, it'll pop up. You just you gotta wait like three weeks." Okay, I waited three months. I'm like, "So how's that gonna work? That pop up thing?" Yeah. What do you need? Just a little tasting glass. Oh yeah. Uh, wait, are they back it's there? In the corner. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, <laughs> it's you dark. Got a phone with a <coughs> light on it. <laughs> and uh, I thought there was a light over here. There is. There is if we turn on the lights. Uh, right. Oh, there you go. Like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they they're like, oh, you should have that. I'm like, I don't have that. So they're like, let me escalate this, but we gotta do it over email because I was doing text chat, and then they were like, uh, whatever. 
So a few days later, or less, some lady emails me. He's like, click here to claim your, or basically you get this code. And then you take that code, you go to their one of their private websites, and you paste it in, and then you have to put in the name of the show, like the way you want it to be on the, on the button. button. And then wait, and then it's like, wait eight weeks, which was really two. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. Does your video look fine? Does it look washed out? No, mine isn't like, mine's in like... It's because I'm all white. Blurry. What? No. Not, no, not camera blurry, like reception blurry. I don't know what that means, reception blurry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's not streaming all the way? Like it's not high, no. Looks like you have no connection. Right. Connection Boudoir to Lemon? Be bedroom, everybody? Is that right? Do you guys mm. have any blurriness up on your thing, your displays? Boudoir, I don't know, Boudoir. Blur Boudoir sounds like it. Yeah, like, uh, I just want to make sure that the it's not the Kodak, it's just. Um, Cowboy the, hat is at home. Jennifer. Where's this? Oh. It's been a while. I was all, I was unprepared. I just had I had to find my suspenders, my apron. <laughs> they were under all his clothes in a big pile. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, they were in my cowboy hat actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you kind of put everything right, right where it needs to go. <laughs> um, I guess we're gonna need that. So. The video quality isn't clear, says Solomon. And then no blurred spots, says. So I get no blurry spots, and it's not clear. Video is blurry. <laughs> all right. Mixed reviews. Let's just say mixed reviews. You guys are killing me. Nothing wrong with a good boudoir. Uh, let me just make sure the output settings are right. It's always the or goddamn output, output settings. Progress. Quality may be reduced. If you create a new... What? what the crap are you talking about? <laughs> I don't have any primary language. I just know I little in a bunch of different languages. Don't <laughs> you just speak random languages in bits? <laughs> <laughs> But isn't English your primary language? It says it's yes. running at. I'm guessing English is really his primary language. But I don't understand that. The way it's written, it sounds like he just knows phrases in different right. languages. <laughs> <laughs> Bibliotech! Yeah! <laughs> He's doing the German one in Duolingo, and they talk so much about clean potatoes, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, is a potato clean? <laughs> There's so many cultural differences you find on Duolingo. Yeah. <laughs> what are the cultures value? Well, Germany values clean potatoes. Apparently. <laughs> Mexico values apples and what else they value? It's definitely um, Latin Spanish, Latino Spanish on Duolingo. I don't know what it would be. Because yeah. I talk to people from Spain and I'm like, hey, how do you say this? And they're like, it's they different. say a word. And like cake, they don't say pastel. No. What do they say? Um, or like gato or something. I like forget French. what they Domo say arigato. for cake, but uh, pastel is more like a dessert in Spain okay. than, a, than a cake. Well, it's like a pudding, right? They, they, the British refer to puddings as desserts as puddings, and we call them desserts. Oh, really? I didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Dessert sounds better. Except for the fact that it could also be a desert. Yes, and then you but there's remember which one, one, how a many different number of S's. Yeah, yeah one but it's easy good. to get the S's wrong. I'm having dessert. Yeah. I'm having desert. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of refer from context, right? Yeah. No, I usually do dessert for both because desert. it's less S's. It's e like so you. It's easier to like not add extra. Doesn't letters. desert have one S? Yes. Oh, then maybe desert I did. The, the, yeah, they do the reverse. Yeah. I always do the one with the one. I'm a desert. See, I'm already confused. <laughs> you want some water with that? <laughs> <laughs> or, or oh, I can't. Make, I can't remember. Why are you trying to learn German? You, Gotta master your own language first. I mastered it. <laughs> You're hearing me and understanding me. That's good enough. <laughs> well, what, what is it? Der Kartoffel ist sauber. No, that's clean. Schmutzig. They're dirty. They're, dirty. they're either dirty or clean. They're either dirty or clean. They're potatoes. potatoes. Yeah. They're, they're all about their potatoes. Der is... Yeah, I don't understand why. Or you have to clean the potatoes. Mi papa es una papa. My father's a potato. <laughs> I've never heard that one. What's that? I've never heard that one. Let's see. I just made that up. I, I, fi I figured. <laughs> Refreshing fixed it. Oh, so maybe it, it was just you. It might have been it was it just negotiated down to a crappy quality because might be a it was buffering thing. Loading. There we go. There he was trying to live buffer and it wasn't happening fast. So then when he reloaded it, maybe. Yeah. Right. 
buffered up. YouTube should behind. be smart enough to, to change the resolution dynamically as your connection or my connection gets better, but maybe it doesn't do it for the streaming side. Net neutrality, man. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> it's fucking everything up. Getting rid of net neutrality. Gone. Hey, are you paying for good upload speeds? No. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't have to pay. I'm already paying. I pay like 200 bucks a month. Yeah. No, I pay like $89 a month. A lot of Because I change, have a so. discount. Oh, so, yeah, so you're not getting the high speeds because you're not paying as much. Well, I, I'm getting the discount because I, I don't really know why. They gave me a discount because I quit like Comcast, the TV part. And mm -hmm. then they were, I'm like, well, what does it cost for just the internet? And they were like, oh, I can save you $20 for like six months. I'm like, well, then let's do that. I'll, like, And then the thing is, they're, they're like, oh, later. we can, for for like $10 more, you can double your speeds. I'm like, that's great, except for my speeds are already shitty. Like, it's not hitting well, the maximum. So it's like, uh, yeah. they're like, oh, you have two times as much download. I'm like... But it just either stops two, or it works. Two so, times better than suckier is sucky is. Not if it's sucky moving error. at zero, yeah, it's not sucky. When it moves at zero, well, two times is zero. It's still zero. Yeah. So it's really fast to download, as fast as it needs to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I've never had problems when it's downloading, but like sometimes shit just doesn't work. I don't know why. Technology, man. Like when I'm uploading to, I'm uploading the weekly video. Like you can't play Clash of Clans or Clash Royale. It's just like it runs Royale's slow. Like one's upload, one's download. They're completely split. Just, you gotta go off Wi-Fi. Yeah. Get off Wi-Fi and start downloading. Or do you, do you have unlimited no. data or no? That is yeah. off Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay. yeah, just do unlimited. Do it, go on your data plan. <laughs> That's I'm paying ninety dollars for internet. I don't need to use my eight my my T-Mobile connection to be able to do what this stupid you, you Brown pay, should be doing. You're paying for that too. Right. It's all about load balancing, right? No. That's their job. They can do the load balancing. But they can't load balance on two networks. So that one, one they don't. You, actually, so they you, can. They can't, they can't load balance on your cellular network. They could. And, and your, but they don't. No, they don't even do one they thing. Don't, they don't own the cellular network, so they don't know. They probably do. <laughs> but, I don't know who owns but, Comcast. Okay, even if they own it, they're not tied together. They don't load balance. But they could. They, they, but they don't. No, they so, don't. So but, it leaves it to you but, to do it. But they don't even work. Who's on first? They don't even work to begin with. Like, with the standard service. Is anyway, shitty. I'm going to drink something. Yeah, 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 let's do this. Ready? Here's the red guy. Here we go. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. Derek and Ian. I was a Dan because you've been gone for like two months. Hey, it's one letter Actually, difference. Probably it's one okay. month. And we made a big sticky mess here. Um, I was not involved in that. I think that was for another channel. <laughs> that was a different Browsers. Channel. Yeah. 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 Simple syrup style. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I don't know what we're doing. So me and Ian, Ian walked over with this thing. Yeah, I, I so, told the story to you, but that doesn't mean everybody else understands. I am so. playing stupid right now. All right, so... I'm going to lick this off. I'm not going to watch that. Uh, so I was in New Jersey a few weeks ago uh, from my friend's housewarming party. And his neighbor came over and he works for Allied Beverages and he was a cool guy. We started talking and he was telling me about this stuff that he had. It's called uh, Slow and Low Rock and Rye. And uh, it is a rye. Rye whiskey. That's, That's a whiskey. It says uh, straight rye whiskey, raw honey, navel orange, rock candy, and bitters. Navel orange. And he was telling me that the history of rock and rye comes from back in the day when you'd go to a saloon. There was you know, two choices of what to drink. You had water and you had whiskey. And the whiskey was whatever they had. So a lot of times it was just shitty, right. you know, low-end whiskey. With water probably added to probably it to stretch it out. Probably water to stretch it out, yeah. But uh, over time, people realized that if you had rock candy to it, it would kind of cut the, the bitterness or the, the, the harshness of the whiskey. So people started ordering rock and rye. So this company, I don't know if the company is Hochstadler's. Uh, Hochstadler's? It looks German. Can you see that? <laughs> Yes, Hoch, Hoch, is that, yeah, Hochstatters. There we go. I knew you Except that. for the T doesn't need to be there, but. Stadters. No, it doesn't, does it? No. Actually, yes, it does. It, it's High, Sta high that, City. Is, uh, okay. Unless it's two A's. No, it's High City, uh, not High State. Okay. I think State is two A's. So, yeah, that's the company, and they make this stuff, and that's why they call it that. So, I figured we'd uh, Drink try it. it together. And it comes with, it's got that little cool, like the old school crack and peel top. Kraken? Kraken. You know, these things, where you kind of peel it off like the old, oh, the old juice is the yeah. whole tab comes off. It's the pull tab. 
And but it's got bitters and everything in there and citrus. You said I heard you say navel oranges. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour this whole thing because Jen will drink it. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> Yes, because she's huge into whiskey and bitters. I know, right? Brianna's leaving. I don't know where she's on her way. Huh. Why are you going to leave? Because oh, okay. we leave that door open, right? No. So this is, uh... Yeah. Try it! It definitely smells... It's 84 proof. It's going to hurt you. Citrusy and... So is the whole thing 84 proof, or is that what yeah. the whiskey is no, inside of? the whole thing's of... 84 proof. I think the whole thing's 84 proof. 42? Right. 84, exactly. yep. Which is a little higher no, than that's standard whiskey. That's good. Actually, you that's really it. tasty. Why you didn't, you didn't use the cool tasting glasses? Oh, the Norland glasses? Yeah. I didn't grab them. I should. Were they over there? That's good. There's not there a lot of ethanol in it anywhere. Anyway. You immediately get orange. Yeah. Like a, a zesty little orange. You, you get the sweetness and you get the orange immediately. But and, and I get the honey they, too. I don't understand. It's good. They actually use navel orange. They must make an essence out of it or something. They, or they clarify it or something. Or maybe it's the work. bitter. <laughs> like, I mean, yes, I could totally see a cra high end craft bar doing like a, a clarity on a or I mean, using a what do you call, centrifuge to like clear it out. But like, right. well, I mean, this is a sample. Does it taste tinny? No. It, no. No. The can. Yeah, I, but you get the burning alcohol, so you're like. I don't taste tinniness. I don't know. I I, I don't Do think you? I've ever tasted no, but I don't th I don't really taste tinniness in a lot of things. Yeah, I mean it's coated on the inside. I'm sure. I mean, yeah. yeah. But it might also depend on what you've got for uh, material, like uh, an orange juice or like a pineapple juice that comes in the tins. What was it? The the ch oh, cherries we have. Yeah, you said it's probably the tinniness. acid. All yeah. those citruses yeah. are really yeah. acidic, so they probably eat away at the linings yeah. and stuff. This is actually really good, isn't it? I was. I'm I mean, I'm not terribly surprised, but I'm surprised It's like that silky. It, yeah. And the flavors are really good. You, this no, is a well good It's well balanced for, yeah. a, for what... You could buy these things? I don't know. He gave me that. I don't know if it's a sampler <laughs> or if that's how they distribute. I, I would hope this is probably the normal size, because this is... That's going to fuck you up. It's 100 millis. That's two shots, so... Yeah, two shots of whiskey. I mean, if you gave somebody like, like the, you know, like the... The twelve ounce or what are they? What are the, no five ounces? What what are the um the blue ones? What is the company that does the fucking gives you wings? Red Bull. Oh yeah, like a Red Bull can. Yeah, that would burn the, the you. The original Red Bulls are probably about twice that size. The, the uh, small yeah, ones. Yeah, those are dead to me. Yeah. I, 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 why if you're gonna drink a Red Bull, why would you go small? It's like if you can't get your heart to explode, you're doing it wrong. You can drink three at once with a funnel right in the middle. Speaking of someone whose heart was probably gonna explode pretty soon. Well, what? not not soon, but like. Pretty soon. You're not ready, right? It was probably closer to having their heart explode than you. I've, I've weaned myself off those. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, but they help your yeah. metabolism, right? Yeah, that'll bounce off a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? That's not a thing? Yeah, Solomon maybe. says you can buy those cans in the liquor stores, like the buzz Oh, balls. you can? That's what Solomon says. Okay. I don't know what a buzz ball yeah, is, but that I'm, also sounds kind of dangerous. I'm not familiar with these, so I mean that's yeah. That's, I am. I'm quite surprised that this tastes like, like if you, if you serve that at a craft bar, midline craft bar, in like a like a like a Sazerac would be served. Yeah, it'd be pretty damn good. It's almost like a you, you put it in like a brandy snifter or something like yeah. that because the, you, the, the orange smell. It's is very really vibrant. Good. It's the vibrant, only it's thing that might keep people in is it's a little sweet. It is a little sweet, but it's not. It's a rye, though. I, I don't know. It's not it's like, like sticky sweet. It's not like a liqueur or anything. I mean, it's... But it has, like, that consistency. Like, the thickness, the silkiness. I don't know if that's the whole thing or if it's the honey. Well, it's that funny because be you, you get it, but it doesn't linger. It's no, like, it doesn't leave a sticky residue. Yeah, there's nothing sticky about that. It's burning. Like, it leaves a little burniness does, in your yeah. belly. Like, it's not fake. It's That's alcohol in there. Lots of alcohol. Hello, and Scotland. Then, hola. I was born in Scotland. That's why I noticed that. Were you conceived Maybe. there or born there? Speaking of being born, Jen was born many years ago today. I was oh, born yeah. many years Happy birthday, Jen. Jen. Jennifer's Thanks. birthday. <laughs> uh, unless you're actually watching this video, then yeah. it's... I don't know when this is going to go out, but it won't be on her birthday, because that's today. This is the live stream. Yeah. yeah. Live, stream live stream day. Uh, so, birthday. this is... Since... We haven't done a review in a while, mainly because nobody's going to watch this. We're going to get, like, yeah. 350 views, 400 views. So, suck it, all the people who bypass our reviews. 
Um, this is actually a good thing. I mean, this I think this is worth trying if you're interested in trying if you if you like whiskeys and rye and yeah, whatever, and it's it's, it's approachable because it's it not is. too explosive. This might be a good entry level like whiskey for someone who wants to be interested in drinking whiskey. You know uh, what I mean? I, I you know I'm I'm torn between what part of the the focus that I like the most really comes down to that the the orange. Mm. Like it's so zesty. It is, but and, but not like a bitter zesty. No, no, yeah. but like. Like you, like you zested an orange and smelled it, like that bright citrus. Like I wonder mm. if they, if they make a tincture or something, and they're just adding in like citrus bitters, or yeah. something, like to get wonder, like strong citrus flavor or something. I don't know. It's just very citrus. Yeah, it's but it's not like it's not orange juice. It's not like a screwdriver. It's, but it's not, not like, like a bitters. It's not like it. it it's like I a, don't know because citrus bitters aren't really too bitter. Like right. Regan's. That's true. Yeah. Regan's. Uh, Regan's. This could be pretty. I'm looking for citrus now. Citrus bitters? I don't have, I have lemon. Does that count? Yeah, orange right here. Scrappy's orange. Like, uh... Yeah, I, I, I don't think these are that. Yeah, that's not terribly bitter. I mean, that's, no. But it is, I mean... But it's zesty. But there's, there's even more zest in here than there is in there. And that's an orange, like, yeah, bitter. Yeah, read the ingredients. Diana wants to know if they're on the can. They are. Yeah. Um... Uh, Warning, according to the Surgeon General, hold on. Straight rye whiskey, raw honey, navel orange, raw candy, and bitters. I wonder if it's navel orange, raw candy. Because there's no color. Right. Oh. That would make sense, because now that now you can that's how you yeah, can get that concentrate. But there's no comma. There's no comma anyway. Yeah. No, but that does it would be easier if you use raw candy and you made an hmm. oleo yeah. out of it and make an oleosaccharum because you yeah. get that vibrancy out of True. an oleo because it's all oh, the peels. Oh yeah, maybe they do that. Maybe they make they an oleosaccharum the out of the, the oil out of the peel. Using the raw candy in the peel. Yeah. I can see that. That makes sense. I think Sadie's going to the second floor. Or something. No, I think Brianna's friend's probably oh. here. That's Kevin. Oh. I so! Was, I was born in Greenwich. Or Danoon. Wherever the hospital is. My parents lived in one or the other. I, I think I was born in Greenwich when I lived in Danoon. Those are weird words. That's really hard to put down. Uh, mm. I gotta say something, Jen. This is good. I can just keep sipping that. I know. It's really, uh, right. it's really tasty. Uh, so, here's what you need to do. Just watch, you know what? Watch the damn video. It's too late if you didn't because you're gone. But I just, if you're watching it now, you should go and watch all the reviews because they're useful. And for some reason, people yeah. don't want to watch them. I get 50% less people watching reviews. In this case, it doesn't matter. Somebody handed us something. I don't have a problem reviewing something. It doesn't. Yeah. Which cost me a few minutes editing, and these ones are quick. Cut, begin, cut in, and I'll learn the graphics and shit in there. So, um, and no coupon codes, so you, you're you fucked with that. No um, coupon code? No, because I don't know what? when it's going to go out. Oh, okay, yeah, good point. But okay. Sometimes I put them out, and I say the coupon code, and it's already fucking expired. Well, I'm not going to say it then. No, don't no, say it. <laughs> I was but there to, is one. I was about to say, what about... If you put the wow. number 18 at whatever month you're watching it, and you're in 2018, you might, <laughs> you might be a redneck. Be. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, Ready? Sidebar, there's some videos over there. Maybe I'll put the damn reviews so you keep watching them. Down below, you can pick up the Bartender Starter Kit. It is in stock. Put some good ones over there. I will put some good ones. Yeah. I will put them all. Just tiny little boxes. I'll put all the good. That's it. We teach you how to drink. They're all good, aren't they? Everything we do is good. Greenock. Say, so say Greenock? Greenock? As opposed to Greenock? Greenock Village? <laughs> I guess we'd say Greenock Village in New York, right? Oh, it's Greenwich. But... Greenwich. 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 Yeah. Greenwich. <laughs> we don't need this. We don't use we the don't W. See, we don't use the W. Is that like a um, Haverhill? <laughs> yeah, Haverhill. 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 Overly so, though, for like a, a rye. It is tasty, though. Yeah, you don't... Yeah. It feels burning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. We need lime juice. That's this. Yeah, big we need one. Need a uh, shaker. Shaker. One of these things. Glass. I got a shaker. Oh. Where the hell did this one come from? <laughs> you have a strainer too? Yeah, I don't have a strainer. Oh, there we go. wait. Okay. That happened. We'll go straight to one one. Well, I just, yeah. Uh, no, go with what's on there. Oh, it's a uh, crispy. Two, I just got to find all my Japanese yeah. jiggers because Dan steals them. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, so that's, oh. that one's for the recipe. This one's for the... I'll keep it And we'll put here. the drink there so Jennifer can take a photo of it. This is the lime right here? Or oh. the camera go. These are both lime, aren't they? No. That one's the small as lemon. Oh, yeah. Because it also says it oh. on top, but it did. Once. <laughs> you used to say it on top. <laughs> he said, I didn't know it would go away when I wiped my finger on it. I was just trying to get the condensation off so I could see the marker. I know which one it is because I put it in the small one because I usually don't need as much lemon as I need lime. But we went over Mimi's last or Fourth of July, and I made oh, all bets are off. The punch, the what do we make? Punch. 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 And that's all lemon. Yeah. Which so I bought a bunch of lemon and kind of I totally forgot I had that, so I had to squeeze more. But I was gonna touch that, but then I realized she's focusing. Yeah. You can. Oh, you because you want the recipe. Yeah. So it's this and that, and that's it. Yeah. This and that, and that, and this. This and that, and that, and this. Yeah. Just a half ounce of the lime and three quarter. That I didn't know if we were gonna chilled coop. Okay. Didn't know if we we're gonna show the coupon or not. Yeah, I don't know what it, the recipe is because this is a limited edition, so I only have um I don't know. How many did I buy? Limited edition. I bought twelve? Dang. Good? Uh, hold on one second. You want me to refocus? Turn down this. Yeah. This is, oh, oh, it's washed out here today. Maybe because it's light? I don't know. Is that dirty? No. Yeah. This one's not. That, dude, that looks dirty. Yeah, Where'd it's you get it? Dirty. It was just sitting there? It was just sitting over here. It was on the clean. No, anyway. the ones over there aren't really clean. Uh, I don't know why they're there, but they're mystery. not really clean. Oh, because I didn't, I threw everything over there when we were last make, making cocktails before Dan left, and then I got busy, and then oh. this is how it left. So dirty because it's Derek's fault. Yeah, <laughs> this time. Yeah, well, we missed the background the, music too. Thank you too for its. What's the best way to chill my glass before a cocktail? Right like that. You just put water in it. Just put water, literally water, water in an ice cube. And leave it so you can put it in the freezer, but yeah. like if you're making drinks a lot, this is good because after you're done, your freezer's full of freaking glasses. Yeah, and it's not gonna freeze as quick as people are drinking a lot of times. No, that's the big issue. That's just big use issue. cold water, ice water, yeah. something to keep it at least not room temperature. And just do that before you start making the drink, and by the time you're ready to make the drink, you toss exactly. that and the glass is chilled. You'll know because it'll start to sweat too if you've left it there for a while. Yeah. Or if you really want, you can after you get them all cleaned or whatever, just line them up with the ice water in them. And then when people want a drink, throw it out, build your drink, and then boom! Depending on how busy you are as a drink maker. Yeah. Streamline your process. For us, I don't even bother. I just freaking... Your mother-in-law's art. That's the best way to chill your cocktail glass. <laughs> uh, I'm like, what does that mean? Yeah, no, no that makes sense. <laughs> I get it. Alright, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. We're ready. Here we go. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. Derek and Ian are going to make for you, I don't even know what this is called. It's a, it's a watermelon Thai basil daiquiri. Is that what it's called? Uh, watermelon, is I that what know. the daiquiri is called? It's called a classic daiquiri. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a classic cocktail daiquiri. That's not really true because this is watermelon and Thai basil. The so idea is you're promoting that. the Cocktail and Sons. Exactly. That's my Syrup. Idea. Yes. By so, using their recipe. On it. Exactly. So all the Cocktail and Sons syrup, so all available at awesomedrakes.com, all have a recipe on the back. So I usually take that recipe, which I will do for this. It's not in the store if you're in the watching the live stream yet because I haven't had it since last year, so I think I probably took it out. Uh, but I put the recipe in there just so you have it, so you can see it. But we're going to make it now, and I can even link it in. Uh, the recipe is this. Two ounces of rum, three-quarters ounce of watermelon and Thai basil, simple syrup, and a half ounce of lime juice. You could probably make your own water, watermelon and Thai basil. I don't know how to do that, but this has... Um, aromatic watermelon syrup with Thai basil and mark, mark root lime leaves. So a lot of people use like lime leaves for their syrup creation. 
I don't know. We have a little sample here that I'm using for the show, so this one just looks cooler. I only own 12 of them, so if you want them, it's a limited time, but I know that the Cocktail Sense folks uh, had made it last year, so they'll probably make it next year. So if you're watching this later, you wait until next year. Uh, what Max does over at Cocktail Sons is he whips out limited editions, like the Fashion Little Syrup came through. That was a strawberry-based. Um, it uses Louisiana strawberries. So it's a seasonal product. That's for making your uh, hurricanes. Yeah. And I'm guessing, in this case, the limiting factor is the water out for the season. Could be. Because he gets it Although all. it stays hot down there a lot longer. But yeah, you're yeah, right. yeah. They don't probably know. don't grow all year round. Right. They like grow and grow and then you kill them and then like you gotta wait another season. Right. Maybe they get two seasons out of it. I don't know. The strawberries I know are done by June. So. Yes. Strawberries have a very short season. Yeah. And so They're this. season right now. I know that. Up in Maine. And I know he only had. He, I bought 12 for the store and I don't know how many he has total. So if I don't have, you can always Google for cocktail. Don't Google. Don't even do it. Just if I don't have them in stock, I can send you where you might be able to get them if they're in stock there. Boom. Here. A little promo. Maybe a little closer. Is that, does that look good over there? I don't know if it was. Don't so make the, the birthday girl get up. On the on the par with the. Yeah, I mean, the cocktail sun may <laughs> I, not be totally focused. I like the color of it. It doesn't really add a lot of color. I like I like the Yeah, it's a daiquiri white, color. Yeah. The whiteness of it. Except for the eyelash. The, hey, eyelash. no, that was my special ingredient. <laughs> uh, why you have It's like unicorn tears. Trying to, trying to give it a little personal touch here. And Garnish. <laughs> Yeah, it's taken away. That was meant for you. Um, no. The best thing about Which daiquiris, no, no, <laughs> is that you can make daiquiris with all kinds of stuff. So you can invent your own simple syrups. You can try like a, a sage. That's yummy. The uh, watermelon really like comes out in this. It does. Does it? That's mm. kind of surprising because watermelon is subtle. Yeah, yeah this is really very subtle. subtle. So my guess is he probably takes, this is probably like a whole watermelon. Yeah, <laughs> like, like concentrated down, pinky out. It's got that sweet watermelon flavor, but also a sour tartness Ooh. to it at the same time. Really good. Focused on, I, I mean, the focus is really watermelon, watermelon rum. I was watching some videos, uh, I can't remember the, uh, the YouTube channel or whatever, but there's a bunch of bartenders talking about a bunch of different topics, and there's a bunch of videos for each topic. And, and one of the topics was when you're interviewing a bartender, what drink do you have to make? And everybody said a daiquiri. Because you'll know if they know how to make it. Or exactly. Right. Because because you because you can you can really mess it up. It you it's basic cocktail math, right? Right. But it's also a combination of the different flavors depending on the syrup you pick or the rum you pick. And the experience or, of combining whatever. those. Yeah, the experience of combining them and how you shake and all that. Because stuff. It's a simple drink, but. But can be complex. Yeah, like it can be complex. This yeah. is two ounces of rum, three quarters, one half. So there's right. less sour in here. So. But if you were to make your own watermelon tie... But this probably has a little bit of sour in the thing. And this is heavier than a 2 one, one because it's a 2, 3 quarter, 1 half. So it's right. going to be stronger than it should, know, standard... Yeah. But it doesn't taste that way. The thing is, what he did is he bounces it out towards the, the profile of this. One yeah. of the beauties of... I mean, not to sound sales pitchy here, go buy my syrups, AustinDrakes.com. But the beauty is the consistency is the same, right? So... If you make your own, it's only going to be as consistent as that one you made. The next right. batch could be completely different. If you go to the store and you buy a whole bunch of different watermelons, I don't, I, we love, my kids eat different. watermelon all the time. Yeah. And the watermelon, week to week, is varying. Depending, month to month is, is forget huge. It. Like, well, when you get to the end of the season, they're not nearly how as long good. it's been sitting, where right. it's been growing, how big it is, how it got right. fertilized, how much water it had growing up. Max goes and buys the watermelons from farmers and stuff. I mean, I don't know specifically where he goes for these. I know he does that for the for the strawberries. I know he does it for his cane sugars and everything. So, you know, he, you're getting it from I guess farm to to bottle. Nice thing about in a consistent manner. Yeah, because when you when you're making it at a factory or something where Max is making, he's making big bulk quantities. Right. So all those differences become normalized into it's the, into batched. the mix. It's yeah. batched. This is one. I don't think he's got more than one batch of this. Like he goes in. He but produces it, and that's all he gets for the year. What I'm thinking is, the next time he makes a batch, it's going to be closer in consistency to the previous batch mm -hmm. than our batches would be because of just the right. the mass of stuff he's normalizing. And he's yeah, you're trying. You know, if you get water, like for instance, and I know they did this with um, grapefruits, right? When you're making a, a Dawn's mix, if the grapefruits aren't as tart, then you need to bring down your sugar. If the grapefruit is more tart, you need to bring up your sugar. 
if you don't know that as a guy just mixing stuff together, mm. you don't know what you're going to get. You're going to get something different every time. Right. It, somebody who's designing something goes, okay, well, i got to bring up the sugar this time, and I'm going to make 700 bottles, and they're all going to taste like that. And I think the, the daiquiri test also, you probably want to watch the bartender tasting their drink as they make it. Like, you know how bartenders take their little thing? They, you mean they don't lick the glass? No, they take a little straw. Yeah. And... Listen, I think the best way to test a bartender is something that's a three-component simple drink because if they can't make it, They're they not... probably can't make anything. And it, Long Island iced tea is not a test. It's like, okay, it, it's going to taste like potent explosions in your mouth. And everybody's going to make it a little bit different. Right. It doesn't really matter. It, this is a better test because you're going to get a better flavor out of it. This one draws more watermelon and it's really delicious. So that's that's kind of addicting. Hmm. Where it doesn't have as much lime. It's good summer daiquiri right there. Yeah, it's it's just it feels like summertime, like you're eating a freaking watermelon. Which is tough to do with we watermelon. Should, we should save some for Jen. <laughs> we should totally, <laughs> we should totally make sure Jen gets some of this. Well, I'll have to bring this over to Donna Michelle's house and make some daiquiri from. So if you want to get that, you can use uh, coupon code June eighteen and save eighteen percent off till August tenth. At AussieDrakes.com. Um, you can also go to Cocktails and Sons if you don't love me or if I'm out of stock. I've only got 12 bottles. They're not even in uh, on the website yet. So once they're up, when they're gone, they're gone, I think. Unless Max gives me another surprise and goes, hey, I got another batch. But that doesn't happen very often. Right. Um, that's it. Yeah, go buy stuff. yourself some syrups. There's a sidebar. I'm going to throw some videos over there. I don't really know what they are. I just don't care right now. Down below. He will, the, he'll, he'll care later. I'll care later. Is the bartender starter kit. You can pick that up. When you're picking up your watermelon Thai basil, then you can make your daiquiris and have all the crap you need, like Ian just did here. All the same stuff to make them at home. Yeah. Pretty sweet, huh? You got it all. We're what? teaching... No, what? Is this going out? With the... did, you... did I space out? Did you mention the code? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> He's keeping me on out. track. <laughs> but we're teaching you how to drink anyway. I may have spaced out. I'm just trying to keep you honest. You... No, you spaced out that time because I did it at the end. <laughs> It was only like 15 seconds I was like, ago. I was like thinking of something else. If you look at the, when you look at the video, you'll probably You're see my eyes off wandering. You're staring off into space. <laughs> you see me Did like. You really <laughs> okay, I think so. Here we go. Somebody's got to keep you honest. Hey, <laughs> we're making a drink for you. It's called the watermelon Thai basil daiquiri. You're not gonna want to miss it. So and don't. You're, and you're gonna want to drink it. I'm gonna. So do. I will. I almost want to spit out seeds. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, that is tasty. Right? Come to eat. <laughs> you think we lie just to get some sales? No. No? no. Viewers, yes. Sales. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll lie to viewers. Come on the show. It's going to be awesome. you got to watch this. It's going to be great. <laughs> Put an ice cube in here. I think it would be better with ice. Better. Bold face lies. That was horrible. Uh, Jennifer finished it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd like that. No, it was horrible. You have a very refined palate, Jennifer. <laughs> There's some place where I can see it. Yeah, and daiquiris are definitely not on my palate. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> This week was slow because. Uh, ah, it's Fourth of July, yeah. Yeah, like some. It feels like half the company took off the first two days of the week. How slow is it? And then it's slow enough, it could be gin. And then the other half took the last couple days off, yeah. so there wasn't a lot going on. So it was good. I get to do a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a new kid, Graham. Uh, and he's been pretty good about like just uh, learning stuff and doing something without needing any help. Yeah, yeah. And the DevOps guy's got him working on a couple projects, so that's good. He's a nice kid. Yeah, that's he just out of college. Yeah, he just graduated this year. You don't ten plan on attending college for a long time, if not ever again, because it's a waste. Aren't you still in college, DJ? <laughs> oh, gosh, Is he not in college right now? <laughs> Boom. Oh no, he's not even in college anymore. It says that right under the STFU. 
<laughs> no, you're in the St. Francis University, and then you say you're not in college. <laughs> so I don't, I don't understand. Because I have the St. Francis University sweatshirt. Oh, see? Yeah. Have you followed me today? That stalker? Yeah. <laughs> no, I had it from before. I just always liked that college. <laughs> He's getting everything ready and I'm just... I'm jibba jabbering! You got an egg? Oh, shit! <laughs> this is an egg? What's <laughs> Francis University? St. Francis University, STFU? STFU. That's, that's not your alma mater? <laughs> Wait, you went to so somewhere in Russia? <laughs> in Russia! CCC, isn't that the Russian, uh, the old symbol for the Russian Republic? Okay. I have no idea. So I'm guessing L is like the Russian. It's like their university. It, it's, the, the it's the letter that starts yeah. the word for university yeah. in Russian. I had no idea you were Russian. I thought you were Canadian, DJ. <laughs> Simple syrup, club soda. This could be colder. This club soda. Which one's lemon juice? Oh, this should be interesting. What? Is it? Which one's lemon juice? Good. Just the one you rubbed your finger all over. So this is the same glass, huh? Oh no, two or three. Oh, you owe, that's Glasses. right. You do owe him some slaps from the last live stream. All right. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> giggity giggity. <laughs> How many? Like 15? Like one. <laughs> one? I don't know. Who, some means he two. Come one. on, Jorgen. Tell me how many. He ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's programming hands treating you. <laughs> uh, I can't feel it. Uh. Oh, that just sounds <laughs> great. That's the idea. Probably three. Yeah, we'll just keep doing it until he says. No, like three. <laughs> oh, that was bad. One. That one didn't count. Uh. <laughs> I missed. Ah, that was better. Ah, <laughs> he misses me. Carpal. <laughs> carpal. My carpal tunnel acts up when that happens because my wrist goes flying back. What? What are you doing? You think it's gonna fit in there? Three, four. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Five with ice. With ice. Four hundred U.S. dollars? No way. That's like. Huh? 20, 40, 60, 80? Well, you and Dan did some slap, so... Uh, but did you do 80? <laughs> but did you Plus die? 80? We didn't do 80. $400? That's over two live streams. That had to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got three down. That's $10! Wait. 15 $15. Yeah, out of 400 <laughs> you gotta do the stream with your dad. You should do a stream with your dad. Huh? I bet your dad would be. Oh! Oh, why are we still doing this? Stop it! Because we're only at $20. That's like. We got all night! Okay. <laughs> if you want to spread it out, that's cool with me. <laughs> Here, hold this egg. There you go. Just don't squeeze. Yeah, and then hold this one. That's done. When that there you go. <laughs> I like that. The evil bartender villain. High five. Have you watched the, the ranch yet? You don't have I've, I've seen... I haven't seen the latest one that just no, came the out. The latest season? Yeah. Yeah. By one you mean like the whole right. the half, half, the season. half season. The whole right. half season. I've, I haven't seen... What do they call it? Section 5? or They, they don't yeah, call yeah, it they season. Break it, yeah, they break it up. It's they still call it part, part, part 5. They call it part 5. Yeah. But I know what happens with Danny Masterson because I've read an article yeah, yeah, and they, like, they told told us how they write it wrong. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, he was not charged with anything. He was accused. That's enough in these days. Yeah, but he was, this yeah. was like 15 years ago. It doesn't matter. Everyone's out for blood nowadays. So. But it was 15 years ago and he never got any... I mean, no, I but no one cares. So. I get, like, letting them go until they figure it out, but if they were no But if they're not going anything, to figure it out, yeah, the, the police aren't looking into it. Yeah. It's like, that just happened. It's done now. Because there's no charges like against them or anything. So, Otherwise, he would have been caught and put right. in prison. And like, so I don't understand why you would let him go. For the, like, if somebody well, accused him didn't today, kill him off because now no, the right, door's open. Come back. The door's yeah. open. Yeah. And it was it was it was a really lame like ending. He's a good character too. I know he was, he was a good. He's character. hilarious. Yeah, he was hilarious. 
He's kind of like you and me. Kind of. Only with you, more you hair. You could probably be him. He's got a lot more hair. Yeah. And he'd be you. Yeah. I'd have to be the guy with the Uggs. <laughs> you'd be Austin Kutcher? Oh, dude. It, Obviously. It, I mean... I, I don't know why we'd argue about that. <laughs> <laughs> and you put these two together, like... Who, who's the guy that uses, like, the scented stuff and shaves himself? That's me. What, what do you do? You just but, walk around but, shooting stuff. He's also kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, but we both I can... Don't know. They're both Bruce about the same. Bruce is not a dumb, brilliant, but... brilliant guy. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen I The I think Ranch, Bruce is smarter than, uh... uh what's uh, Christian's... Uh, I can't I remember the character that. name anymore. Uh, I can't remember his name either. Uh-oh. What? DJ's deleting messages. I can't even read them. Oh, did he just get muted? He got time out. Time, time out. Is the door what still happened, DJ? Chris Hardwick, or is he out? I don't know who Chris Hardwick is. Chris Hardwick, he's a uh, he's a comedian. He does uh, ho he hosts a couple. I don't shows. think he admitted to any allegations. Uh -oh. Hey. Yeah, Netflix doesn't want to deal with... Yeah, it. allegations make for bad publicity, but I think it was a long time guilty ago. Guilty in the public eye until proven innocent. But, uh, and even then, it, you're still guilty. But I, I thought innocent. this all happened a while ago, but maybe not. I thought... No, I think it was. I think it was a while ago. Like, too. if all that's happened, it's different than if somebody came out today and said, there's this thing I need to talk about, and it was, you know, in the news. But, like, if this... If somebody dug it out of the newspaper, I was like, or whatever you do when you dig something out. <laughs> I'm not that type of person who goes looking for dirt. But, like, yeah. if you go looking for dirt and find something that could be potential dirt, I think Netflix should be smarter than that. But I guess, I, Yeah, but in this culture, they don't want to deal with it. It's better for them to just separate themselves. The other people should be pretty good. It depends know. how they write them in. I'm pretty rude. I think I shouldn't be fired for saying something stupid on YouTube. <laughs> Right? Oh, yeah, well, YouTube's different. Oh, thank God. It's a good thing. Max Shepard is pretty good. He's the one who's taken over the uh, rooster spot. I like Dax Shepard. Yeah, so. Should probably be okay. <laughs> Not that I think he should have lost his job. But... Alright, well, I guess we should probably film something. No, fat joke's loud. Well, if they're directed at me, I can take a fat joke. <laughs> I can take a fat joke. Well, that's, that's because I'm fat. <laughs> it's because I'm fat. And I just don't it's, care. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Oh, don't be don't be offended. Ow. This is not the not the place to be offended. Yeah, you if you're offended here, go watch my Trump video. Your what video? Remember the Trump video we did? Uh the impeachment back then? Oh, right, right. That got lots of attention. Alright, let's do this one. Alright. Alright. Hold on, let me just stop that there. <laughs> All right, ready? Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. We're making you the classic slow gin fizz. Yeah. Because why wouldn't we? Because who doesn't love a fizz? That. A gin fizz. I love a gin fizz. I like a gin fizz. I like slow. Not as much as I thought I would, but... Um, I'll give you the recipe, then I'll give you all the rest of the information you're going to want. So the recipe is going to be uh, one and a half ounce of slow gin, three quarters ounce of fresh lemon juice, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, two to three ounces of club soda, uh, and then a fresh egg white, which this was submitted by uh, Stephen uh, Foise, and he said the egg white is optional, but No, it's not. <laughs> egg white's never optional. So That's egg white... We like egg white. Right. Egg white is not an optional thing because... It changes your perspective of cocktails, and it turns you from just that college kid who uh, goes to STFU University or whatever to somebody who enjoys a flavorful cocktail. Um, there was a, somebody on the channel that left the comments. I think they were in their 60s. They said they just started getting into cocktails, but they've started, they find their, they favor sweeter cocktails, and they're you know kind of not disturbed by it, but just thought maybe they would like other stuff. <laughs> Which I, I think that's normal. I think it's to normal. Like, to like this, we don't have a bag. Uh, here, hold this. No! Okay. Throw it in here. here. Jump cut! Throw it over there. Okay. Throw it. Dan is trying Inside. to live Doug's henchai corn life in Taiwan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he, he is. What the hell was I uh, just saying? Oh, lemon juice, man, lemon juice. Uh, oh. We were talking about egg whites and stuff. Steven wants to see you be beat. Oh, that's Fuck. like four beats. Um, yeah, so that's before we right. get to the beat down, 
Uh, the oh, he, I don't remember. The, oh, be, that was an interesting mess you made there. I know. So well, I these don't, things don't pour great. They no, they don't. don't. It's freaking so, moonshine. So I just gotta wing it. You want to dry shake it first? I'll explain in a second. But yeah. I think no matter how old you are, there's always a life a, a life cycle to cocktails. I think it usually starts out sweeter and then it kind of ends a little bit more bitter. And you maybe you get into it early and you like that type of stuff. But I think in general you get that. Pro progression from college kid up or even an older adult that starts drinking for the first time, you're probably not going to sit down and drink a Sazerac. Everybody starts with a sweet drink because right. they're, they're approachable. Yeah. Sweet is good. I'd rather get kicked in the nuts than get a high five from Ian. Yeah. <laughs> How about like, no, if I, I kick you in the nuts? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what, I Ian, do that. what Ian had done here, there's a video of about dry shaking here if you'd like to see it. Um, what are you going to do now? You're gonna add that in here and shake it again? No, I'm not gonna shake it. Oh yeah, I gotta ice it and shake yeah. it. So what Ian did <laughs> first is he added the egg white without ice to emulsify it, which means it's gonna it's gonna get that nice foamy head. It's gonna integrate all those proteins. And what that does You'll is that the fat and the proteins keep the bubbles from popping. So bubbles typically aren't very strong. That fat and that protein structure ties it so that the bubbles can't pop as easily, which means it'll last a long time, like 20, 30 minutes if you can keep your drink that long, which is kind of weird. Uh, the classic slow gin fizz, it's got to be done in a long drink that looks like it was cleaned. By me. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. It's, it's got to leave this like, lipstick on it or uh, something. I, don't I know, know. you're I know you're thinking. See how creamy that looks? There's yeah. no milk in this, it's just egg white. And that's, yeah. that's what the dry shake does for we, you. We, we probably want ice though. Right? Oh no, no, we want club soda. Yeah. Derek definitely gets bitter with old age. I get bitter with old age. I no, I just I, I I'm quick to temper as all. <laughs> it's not that I'm bitter. I just have strong opinions now. Like mine is the only one that counts. Shame they're all wrong. Oh. <laughs> and the thing about the gin fizz is you get the lift. You're gonna get it to pop right up the top. Yeah. Oh, pop up the top. And spill over. That's not pouring well either. This oh, is a bottle. What the yeah, fuck because he's slow that? drip. He's dripping it down. It's gonna do that. So as this clears out, you're gonna get that brown uh, slow gin. Now slow gin is a different type of berry. It's not. Don't think of this as gin. Think of this as slow berry liqueur. Yes. Like, it's, and slow berry. It's and if you're sweet, like, what the hell is like slow berry? It's not. And... It's medicinal. It's like gin in the medicinal quality. You owe with some slaps. Oh Christ, my oh, hands. Yeah. Yeah, just getting better. That's four, and then we got ketchup. She likes to on do. That. Oh! That had some good echo to that. Let's see if I can repeat that. What? Ow. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Let's just get one. Ow! We got, that was that that carried over, right? Because he that's a twenty, so that that's yeah, five ten. So we're getting this twenty. That was fifteen. Okay. What? That was <laughs> that's three. More than, oh, you're okay, right. Yeah, I get it. I get it. A math. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Now that all the. Uh, the the, the non-fans are gone, we can drink it. And, and the reason the, the egg emulsification... <laughs> it's fucking gravy. Because it's some, the carbonation. Some people get the head way up there, but when you do the egg, it's, and it creates these uh, these bindings in the protein that are that are stronger than just your normal foam. Right, which I said already. And, and then you put that foam, the fizzy drink in there. It, it's like a lift. They call they call these type of drinks lifts, where the, the foam will lift up. And the foam tastes like the drink. It's awesome. Tastes like a... Who needs an EC whipper? This tastes like Daddy's Frappe. Ian. You need an Ian Whipper. <laughs> mm. So, the slow gin berry by itself, like it's slow gin by itself, is pretty heinous. Like it's it's yeah. it's rough. It is. It's but like it drinking. A, it's like a berry, but it's a berry flavor. Yeah. If this you drink though, it, somebody it, tells you it's a berry. You're like, oh yeah, that's berry. What? But this is tart. It's got like dry flavor to oh. it, and it's and it's got like a black licorice oh, berry. Kind of offensive. That's what she said. I don't know. Somebody needs to be banned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel a little offended. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we have some live Sorry. live stream coffee. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, jump cut. <laughs> you can't just call jump cut every time you want one. <laughs> don't work that way. It's jump cut me. <laughs> hey, hey, Derek. Jump cut right here. From here to here. Jump. No jump. Dude, there's no drink. It's all foam. <laughs> Have you tried this? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. And it's the got like a, you know what it I tastes like to me? Mm. This tastes like a, a rich and creamy Singapore sling. Yeah, it does. But why? Uh, the well, herring has a lot yeah, of the, the same Yeah, the cherry flavor. herring is very similar. 
So you have cherry herring. It's you like have a smoky brown sugar. The lemon. Yeah. But it's also got gin. Like gin, yeah. I can see that. So, There's some so level of it, gin in here. It is kind of Singapore sling. Yeah. It's easier though. It's easier than Singapore sling. It is. Although there is the Disney, egg white thing. Yeah. yeah. It's easier when you make it. <laughs> Everything's easier when you make it. Singapore sling has a lot of ingredients. So it, and it does have something that makes it foamy. Is it pineapple juice? I think it's fine. Pineapple yeah. but juice will make stuff foamy, so uh, pineapple and egg is really But not good. like this. This is a really good foam. I'm surprised we got that much foam on the egg. I know. How That's old was that egg? How new was that egg? It's new. It's new. Okay, that makes sense. This yeah. week. I, go I mean, a chicken didn't just hatch it. <laughs> um, we gotta see if we can get one right out of the chicken's butt. <laughs> and, see, and see oh, what we, we can we, do we for... We can do that. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, you, were you there for that? Does the foam come out really crazy? I was there for the banana recording. Yeah, I just... Linked one the other day to somebody. Um, yeah, it's got like a brown sugar, s slight dry, slight sweet, cherry like flavor to it. Mm. Um, and that it's slow really berry good. is like a rat, not a raspberry, but maybe like a chambord, like in a, in some res respects, a chambord meets maybe a cherry little more herring. bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah cherry herring is a good hit, but it's like a cherry herring slash black currant, currant, yeah. um, type flavor. And Don uses cherry herring in everything. Yeah. Yes. Well, he just it. puts it in everything. It's pretty delicious, so yeah. I don't yeah. just like it. Yeah, if you can find a reason to use cherry herring. It's, it's like whiskey, do. cherry herring, and whatever else he has. Raspberries or whatever. He basically makes a whiskey smash and just goes... And that's what... And he puts it in a glass and he just walks around the pool. Mm -hmm. um, Doug's smart. That's a really... <laughs> it's really... Not a, if you ask Dan. He's a jerk. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he never shows up? No, no, I don't know why Don. Oh, I think he made yeah. a comment one time and Dan called him a jerker. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, were you here for that? Yeah, something, yeah. Here. I was probably here, yeah. Here. Um, but the original video I did was 2009. It has 8,500 8, views. This one will get like a quarter of that, but I think this drink is better than whatever I made in 2009. Well, you've, you've evolved since 2009. Yeah. It's just the views have gone down. Well, and you've evolved having me make the drinks, I mean. Yeah, see? <laughs> Makes it easier no, for me. Else. <laughs> yeah. he, he I, make, you I, elevated I, to manager. Yeah. You're now management level material. He evolved. Now I'm floating. Now oh, something better than a human. <laughs> I am More like, human than human. I'm a superhuman. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you got that drink to make. Yeah. I would totally do this. If you don't have mm -hmm. slow gin, um, I, there's going to be a couple. I think I have a couple slow gin recipes in here. Um, I know Steven has submitted a whole pile of them. I would say... If you have, this is not exactly cheap, I don't think. No, Plymouth is high end, I think. So cheap. if you have the money to experiment, this is worth experimenting. But mm. I want an asterisk there that says you could have this bottle for a while if you don't make an experiment with other slow gin drinks. Right. Because it's not something that gets, it's like a liqueur. It gets used every now and then, and yeah. you have to have the right... Maybe attitude. what you should do is do a channel search and find out a couple other slow gin drinks that maybe look tasty, or maybe we... We said they were pretty good, and then you have a couple different things. There might be even with. our recipe to awesomebase.com. <laughs> if you type slow gin well, into the ingredient list, you can find every recipe that I've curated into that list so far. I don't know what it is, but this one will be in there. So that right. you got that going for you. Which is nice. <laughs> Which is nice. <laughs> Sidebar, there's going to be... Oh, wait. Before... No, you know what? It's too late for all that. that J July 18 is a coupon code. You can use it. It popped up. Early. Put it in there and jump cut. Yeah. <laughs> You can use that to save on the bartender kit below. There's two videos over there. Next time, I'm going to follow my list that's right there. But that's it. We'll teach you how to drink. Yay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? We can say something about this. <laughs> Today, we're making a drink that is two-thirds foam and one-third drink. Despite that fact, it is a delicious drink, and I highly recommend it. If you wait long enough, you get more drink. It might even be worth the wait. <laughs> Were you in the chat on last live stream, Ian? Maybe. Under a pseudonym. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any diseases. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Pseudonym's a disease to you now? Yeah. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's brown sugary. It's, it's yeah, but it's delicious, right? Oh, it is. It's good. And you you can use a spoon to dig out that foam if you want, <laughs> or you can just suck it with a straw like a uh, frosty. Like somebody who sucks things through straws. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry. No, I, I I know what you meant, Dan. I was just trying to make fun. I, I was doing a stupid man wordplay. <laughs> Not that I'm. Get the 
pull them out of there. Not that I'm making fun of stupid men, because that would be, that would be insensitive. Take, I need four to eight mint leaves. That's not insensitive. Do you need anything else while you're going up there? I don't know. Stupid men should be made fun of. Yeah, but they don't really know, so. <laughs> you ever see that Big Bang Theory where they, uh, Penny's boyfriend Zach comes over and they're, uh, all, yeah. lovers, and they're all big dickheads because they're like bullying this guy? He's hilarious, though. He like, is funny. He's, he's so dumb that it's funny. He, He's a, he's a really good character. Yes. Is all the chat angst all gone now? No. <laughs> Still a lot of Oh my god! <laughs> Play nice people. We've probably... Uh-oh. You don't have to bark back at me, chat room. <laughs> I don't know how you did that, but that's cool. <laughs> was that your uh, nest? That was the ring. The ring, yeah, that's what I meant. Not the nest, Ian. We don't ah. have a nest. <laughs> Nests are for birds. And thermostats. <laughs> so you could just do this. And you eventually... Get more drink? It, yeah, there's like a couple drops on the bar now. <laughs> Maybe those are a couple drops you can drink now. Slap it! Yeah, I ice too. We will make use of ice, good sir. I used the, another Ziploc bag, but uh, <laughs> eventually I have to fill those up. All right, lemon All right. mint simple this syrup. This is my new mint. I bought this year. Sweet, huh? You bought it? Well, I bought that. Yeah. The plant. The plant. That makes more sense. <laughs> and then I put it in the ground. He just bought that little stick right Yeah, there. I bought that. <laughs> I'm like, why would you just buy a stick of mint and for this year? He ran out just now, smells this right. year, and bought a stick of mint. <laughs> <laughs> smells right, smells right. It's kind of like a candy cane, yeah. but not quite. You ever have the chocolate mint stuff? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I have way too much of that. I've been good. trying to kill it for months. Years. I think I'm on my third garden, year. Every time you rake it, it smells awesome. I, yeah, but it makes you nauseous. It's so strong. I have it. Let's see. Here, have some of my chocolate mint. Oh, is this chocolate oh mint? yeah. Let's see if this is actually chocolate mint. No, that's actually chocolate. My dad, not a big mint fan. Hmm. Is that chocolate? I like mint. I'm so confused. What is that? <laughs> if it's poop water, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> Yes, I just put it into my mouth, if that's the case. Oh, you did? It tastes, it smells chocolatey. It does taste wicked chocolatey. It's gotta be chocolate mint. Nope, it's not. I don't know what that is. It's it really good, chocolate. though. Oh, maybe it's just chocolate. Or it's, it's chocolate and something. I must have made it like a chocolate. That's not minty? Maybe. That's not minty. <laughs> that's, like that is chocolate mint. Besides the fact that it says it, it's chocolatey as fuck. Yeah. So it is. I think this actually has chocolate, like the. Um, but it's got like some kind of like mint. I must have. I don't know. I do fucking weird experiments. I usually label. That's them. good. That is all my chocolate mint after, before I I murdered it out of the garden, and I just. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ah. It's got a lot of alcohol. In it. That's good stuff. Um, but I I tried to get it out of the garden because I don't know what to do with it. It's just fucking everywhere. Do more of that. <laughs> Do, this. <laughs> do what I just did. It's a breath right. freshener. But I that took, is delicious. I took all of my mint. Keep and that I with you and bring it around before meetings and be like, oh, I got a meeting. I got to impress these people. I'm just going off. It would work. You might get drunk after Hi, a while. Hi, my name is Ian. Please make sure some business together. All right. It's like, yes, my breath is fresh mint, Mindy. Thanks for asking. It's a uh, chocolatey fresh mint. Yes. I made a video. It's on YouTube. It's the, uh -huh. I did it. You Quite. put videos on YouTube? Yeah. Crazy yeah. I, I, I had a, after I ripped it all out of the garden, I didn't know what to do with it. We need an actual lemon cut into wedges. Ah, fuck! That's why I didn't cut them all up. No, that's what happens to be. That's why I ask you before you go up, do you need anything else? I don't know. The answer is yes. <laughs> yes, yes you do. Trying to save you some steps. He, he has a sit down job now, he needs the steps. <laughs> exactly. I, me too. But that's his house. Yay! That! Ah. didn't work there for a second. Unfortunately, I was about to do something. I don't know what it was. Is it something in this recipe? Do you need a muddler? 
<gasps> we need bourbon. No, I was just looking for a um, smaller cutting board. It's upstairs. <laughs> I'll use this one. It's okay. <laughs> You up again if you want. Well, like Jen said, you are working a desk job now. You <laughs> <laughs> can use this desk. I can use this desk. I only exercise once this week. I probably step about 200 times a day. I was doing cannonballs in the pool two days I get up, ago. I go in the shower, I walk to my car, I walk into the building, I sit down until lunchtime, I go to lunch and back, and then I walk out. That's my steps for the day. Hey, I got a new car. Did you know? No, wait, no, I think I did. Can I say something? Yeah, no, I knew. Wait, no, yeah, no, yeah, I did. Dan said something, but I didn't know. I don't remember what he said. She got because I don't always listen to him. That was one of the things I must. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Luckily, that's not being recorded. That's fine. He knows I don't always listen. He knows. I've worked with him for years at this point. He understands. He doesn't know by this point that he's stupid. I need a knifey. Oh, that's upstairs. How are you? The plaque blocks two, one, two, and then if you count these, three, four, five. Bolts. Like it completely blocks the two. Completely blocks two. I got a smaller cutting board while I was out there. All right. Because it was actually all right with the knife. You remember my S four? Yes. Like that, only a crossover type thing. What is it? SQ5. SQ5. Audi. Oh, okay. Audi SQ5. SQ5. Jeez, they just keep adding letters, don't they? <laughs> well, it's the S line. It's I remember the Q5, him. The S line. I remember him telling me because he was telling me S SQ5, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. Man. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what brand it is, man. You know what my car looks like? Because I don't get the lettering it's scheme. Because like Mercedes has letters, Lexus has yeah. letters, it's Volvo easy. has letters, Audi BMW has letters. I'm like, I. I don't buy those cars. I don't know. Yeah. Audi has I an A. Them. It also has an S. An R. Well, that, it, there's an always R. an S line. No, no. So S is just fast. Is yeah, the S line. So there's, there's a, a Q5 so, and mine's an SQ5 because it's the S line. There's okay. an A4 and there's an S4. Yeah. And there's a Q4 and then there's SQ4. Right, but they put the no, S in front. No, there's a Q3 and a Q7. Yeah, I don't oh, this is where my problem is. No, no, but you can use the same <laughs> so code. I know, you the, just I know don't the A3, know the A3 A4, A5, A6, A7. I know they have the S models because you used to have the S4. Right, yeah. They have awesome R. Yeah. They have an RS. And that's new to me. And like the Qs an are new to me. But so Lex a, Lexus also has Qs. Infinity has Qs. I saw a TTS so, today. Yeah, so this is where I get confused. I saw a TTS. So it's basically a crossover of my S4, but faster than my S4 was. That's good. Yeah. Because more awesome. speed is always nice. That's right. It's because like, you know you can use it so like much around here. But <laughs> yeah. 380 or 360 horsepower. Wait, no, 354. 354 horsepower. 300 what? 354 horsepower. 354. Wow, that's almost as much as mine. Yeah, well, mine's meant to be a sports car, so yeah, it's, it's different. It's a V8, right? It's a V8, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. 4, 4, 412, 425, something like that. Yeah. Like it takes off pretty fast. Yeah. It. It. I, I was amazed. After I got my Mustang, I was looking at cars after that, and uh, the amount of horsepower the average cars have now is crazy. Because I remember my Jetta, which was the V6 model, had like 184 horsepower. Yeah, right, which is what my GTI had. Which is absolutely nothing by today's standards. Right. Your shit boxes have 215, yeah, 225 horsepower. It's crazy. Like my, uh, my Volkswagen is 250. Yeah, and, and so it's like they've it's they've made some great advances Damn. in the efficiency of these engines. Rocks class as well. What is it? Double rocks. That is nothing. Did we just use that? <laughs> no. no. Again, I, this, that goes with nothing the other Nothing over glass. there is clean. I don't think you get to complain about my cleaning. I didn't. Slash <laughs> rinsing ever again. <laughs> you cleaned. I didn't. I am telling you, I did not clean. So what's better, rinsing or not cleaning? <laughs> just saying. Just that. Neither of them are good. Okay. But there's a varying degrees of goodness. <laughs> no. Shades of gray, as they say. No, no. Neither of them are good. You can't use either <laughs> of them. Just rub it hard enough, it's all good. It's the same as... That's my water. mantra. <laughs> <laughs> it's been working for me for almost 40 years. <laughs> if you rub it hard enough, it's good. It's all good. That's what she said. Oh, wait, I can't say that because I give you shit. That's right. What? That's offensive, Ian. Uh, ah. Did you just defend her again? I'm gonna say vagina now. That well, that's a medical term. It's okay. That's a medical term. Pussy. That's a cat. That's a <laughs> cunt. 
That's offensive. Yes! <laughs> That's an acronym for see you next Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Can I lick you in the see you next Tuesday? <laughs> Close the front door. Or shut the front door. Yes, you. That's St. Francis University. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't the barkeep spit in the glass to clean it? Stop, Steven. It's spit clean. <laughs> yeah. He will do that. Well, we just, we, we just drank a drink that has, like, Jalitha's lipstick on it we drank from a week and a half ago. If that's a movie <laughs> reference, I totally get it, because that's Anal Johnson from uh, <laughs> Blazing Saddles. That's oh. the bartender. He's in the glass and wiped, wiped it out. No, Blazing Saddles? Come on. I know you're not movie people. Blazing Saddles. No, it sounds oh dumb. God. It's hilarious. Uh, DJ, if you're feeling like you might not be easily offended, you should watch Blazing Saddles. It's hilarious. It's from the 70s. It's Mel Brooks. It's racist and everything. It's, but it's racist against everybody. It's great. Is it racist against white people? That's Thank tough. you, Solomon. I, li I like that reasoning. I'm allowed to be offensive. It's part of the CMC contract. Yeah. I carry a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> it's both of those things that are, are things that can happen. Oh, are we good? I don't know. Yeah. I keep looking and then I get distracted by chat and then the car <laughs> I want to hear about. Is that going? It's going. All right, we're going. Don't, just don't film this part because it looks like Julia might have had that one too. <laughs> Look, I hate you with anything. I don't know. I just ducked because I thought it would be good TV. Fuck, I was just starting to feel the fat of this Th part of my hand. There's just so many that we need to get done. Ah, that why are you hitting that? Well, you Son said, of a bitch! You said that part of your hand, you're starting to get feeling back. So. <laughs> he wanted to <laughs> <really> <laughs> <do that. laughs> Blazing Saddles. It's got Gene Wilder and it's directed by DJ, Mel Brooks. if you don't know what he said, just hear him why. <laughs> it was only like that seconds ago. <laughs> this is, this right, is, that's just as bad as me repeating it, I guess. Uh, this, <laughs> this is like DVR, dude. Ready? Here we go! Here. Welcome to Combat Cocktails, Derek and Ian today are going to show you how to make the Whiskey Smash. Aww. We got everything? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sick of fucking trying to figure it out. So we're going to make a drink for you. We're probably going to wing it as we go because we get distracted easy by listening objects. The Whiskey Smash is going to be, in this case, half a lemon cut into wedges, 48 mint leaves, 3 quarters ounce of simple syrup, 2 ounces of bourbon. We're going to use Knob, Knob Creek single barrel because the cinnamon, Stephen. Uh, Foisy suggested we do that. Oh, I haven't done executive producers at all. How many videos have we done? Just one? Dos. I don't know. Uno. Um, our executive producer for this episode is going to be... Oh, it's Stephen Feige! Well, okay. Same person. That submitted the video. He's in chat. Banning people. Or maybe we can get him. Does he have permissions? He doesn't have permissions to ban people yet. Um, he submitted this recipe. The Whiskey Smash is unique in the fact that it can be made in a million different ways. Yes. It's basically a Whiskey Smash with a bunch of stuff. Typically, it's kind of like... Typically, there's, it's like a Whiskey Sour, but you're smashing lemons instead of adding lemon juice. Yeah. It's uh, like if you took a mojito and a mule, any of those type of drinks that have mint, Pim's citrus. Cup. Pim's Cup is another good one. Um, you just, you're just you using simple syrup like you would with any of those recipes. I like and those you're using whiskey. somebody else makes them. Yeah, well, Pim's Cup's <laughs> a pain in the balls. I'm gonna go halfway and use the six mint leaf option. Why you don't like my mint leaves? Well, you said four to eight, oh, so so you're going right now. I can do. So do you prefer a mintier drink? Sure. I don't know. Seven. <laughs> let's live. Done. Wow. Let's live dangerously. Uh, mint for garnish. So look, we can even use the top of this. Uh, all I have is a box cutter over here. I can even use the top of this for garnish. Um, this is from AwesomeDrinks.com. See, I use this to. to Pack everybody's orders when they use coupon code July 18 and save 18 percent off until August 10th. That's Ooh. a long time. So you know what like, happens August 10th? Oh, fuck. Uh, what happens August 10th? My first hammer? day of Boston Comic Con. Now you can smash. Oh, I just okay. I just smash. We're making a smash. No, no, the yellow text. Ah. <laughs> so the way we make oh, this smash drink is you're gonna <laughs> we're gonna in a we'll, muddler. We'll just round that up. In a shaker. Oh, that's what? three. What are you, you shying away up? from that one? <laughs> That's what happens when you flinched. <laughs> now, I'm gonna pretend that never happened. Watch this. So what are you gonna do in a shaker? Jump cut. <laughs> so you're gonna muddle a lemon Jump with simple syrup. Jump cut the bad syrup. memories away. Yeah, you can't do that because they're still hers. You're gonna muddle simple syrup and lemons together. You're gonna add mint leaves. You're gonna muddle gently right over the top of your mint, uh, over the top of your citrus. That mint 
is going to express its beautiful oils into your drink. Don't grind it up into a pulp. That's not how you muddle. I have a video on muddling. I can't use my other hand, so I might as well do this. Be gentle. You already added whiskey? Yeah. I'm a fast mover and a shaker. <laughs> this is the shaking part. I already did the moving part. Just in case you were confused. I am yeah. confused. <laughs> Game, Here's your game, everybody. Anytime Ian streams jump cut, you gotta take a Let's shot. Start off right. Jump cut. <laughs> um, is it? It's not vacuum seal. Get some seal going. Get the seal. I hear it. Yeah. Um, also, if you over over muddle your mint, you're gonna get bitterness because the chlorophyll is actually bitter. So if you didn't watch the video, I already. To. We can dump or we can double strain over crushed ice. What do you prefer? I, I dump. It's a, it's a smash, right? Smash is like, smash is like gonna need more there. ice. But there's, so the reason I would probably double strain this instead after oh. I've poured it is just because this lemon was extremely seedy. I don't care. Okay. We'll strain it for our teeth. Lemons tend to be seedy. Not, not all of them are that seedy. I need yeah. more ice than that. This was like from the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> Over there. Up over there. This like, is this is it's that like lemon anal, was from Lowell. Okay? It's like <laughs> anal without washing first. Oh, well, now you're gonna insult anybody from Lowell. Okay, well. it was from wherever DJ's from. Then. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just keep with that. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, it's gonna be uh, All right. So you're gonna slap your mint. That's gonna get some of the uh, oils to come out, and you're gonna get a mintiness to go with the flavors. It's a beautiful drink. Oh yeah, I should probably like think about that. Yeah, that's a good shot. Right, it is. Oh, yep, yeah, 120. So, oh, that's right. we're using, and I prefer high proof in this. Although, if you're in a pool, I would go a little lower on that. 120 proof, small batch, single barrel, Knob Creek Reserve. That's pretty good because the oakiness comes out of this a little bit, which is really nice. Oak, butter, mint, like a little bit of vanilla, mm. citrus. This is not a pool drink. This is at like every. You, this is like you. Everybody's done at the pool. The sun's gone down, hmm. and this is the drink you have. This is this is. You dusk can't drink this drink. pool. Yeah, if you this drink this at the drink. pool, you're not. You're gonna <laughs> die. It's, it's, the sun's gotta be going it's down. It's got Yeah, but just picture like sitting at the pool or the beach, yeah. and the sun's going down. And you're sipping on that. Right. <laughs> this That's is good. This is a one or two, and then you're gonna need to try and find a different drink. Like mojitos or something to kind of hydrate yourself after the this destruction you're getting to your soul. This is a lot of alcohol. It is. It's okay, Mike. You can binge watch us anytime you want. Everybody can binge watch. Binge. Jump cut. It's <laughs> so if you keep rewinding. Ooh. You get to do the jump cut over and over. If you want to keep taking shots, you can rewind as much as you want. Dan will have some time on stories about CD. <laughs> uh, he's going with his family, but probably still. <laughs> uh, so, are you going to be around next month? Did I already ask you if you're going to be here like the first weekend of August? I think Dan is. Um, Dan hasn't committed yet because he keeps telling me how he's going to go to Virginia. I have a family reunion on the last weekend of July, I think. That's not the first weekend of August. It's in Jackman. So, Does it start with AUG? Like no, Nog? but it might end with... I, I, it's I like... Remember. On a Saturday. I think it's like the 3rd of August. I'm thinking to do a live stream. I um, think, yeah, I think I'll be here for that. So next month, you probably wouldn't like The weekend, like the it weekend anyway. after that mm -hmm. is Boston Comic Con. So. Okay. That's, that's not so me. That one's out. That one's out. Good. I don't want to do that one anyway. Uh, but I was no thinking, puedo. You don't like Mezcal, Amigo. right? <laughs> no puedo. We're gonna, I want to do a no Mezcal man. month. <laughs> I can't. Mezcal month. Mezcal. No mezcal month. Yeah. All right, I'll... Uh, I'll be sure I want to make sure Dan was around. I didn't want to do it this month because I know Dan likes Mezcal more than me. He does like Mezcal more than me. So, um, so I want to make sure that both of you guys are here. The the straight of the line and the lover and then me. To have like a little bit of everything. All right. Different mezcal. perspectives. Yes. Different and perspectives. Loves mezcal, so maybe we'll get her on camera. Yeah. yeah. It is her birthday day. Maybe we should get her on camera. For no. That's not going to So happen. everybody can wish her a happy birthday. Oh. Uh, to your by face. By the time it comes out. I'm talking birthday. about the live stream people. They've already wished me happy birthday. But they didn't see your smiling face. <laughs> I forgot all my stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> Jump cut! <laughs> you should subscribe to the show. There's a subscribe button that flies up in every video. That's your reminder. You should go watch it. Our executive producer, I said it was Steve, so it doesn't go. Our, Does it fly up like do a barrel roll on Google Chrome? 
No, I don't. I don't have that much motion graphics experience. Um, did I do the coupon code? July eighteenth is the coupon code for OfficerBase.com, where you can get cool stuff like that jigger and the bartender kit, which you'll see at the end of the video. Um, I like that drink. It's pretty damn good. This is like what a whiskey sour would be in the summertime for me. It's not. It doesn't have that dryness. It doesn't have like that, the warmth. It has the jumpy, yeah. minty, lemon. I'm into this. Oh, but I think I'm. I think I'm starting to see two of Ian, like type of thing. That's perfect. Yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna take up your whole field of vision, though. I feel bad. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not what you say. <laughs> and there's that. And there's that, which is nice. <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> um, uh, question of the day: What's your? Uh, if you had a birthday, what would be your birthday cocktail? Like, what is the cocktail that you go for? Hmm. Someone should answer that here first. I don't have one. Jennifer's birthday cocktail is one that she doesn't have to make. So <laughs> it's going to have mezcal in it. Right now I'm going to say it's that mezcal drink that we made with... Um, with that was pretty good. Maybe we'll have to make it on the show next month. Uh, with with cardamom Oh, pause. cardamom. Okay. No. Weed. Close. I um, just figured but, I couldn't see clearly. <laughs> Try to play it up a little bit. But instead, no. Cardamom pods. Thanks for Muddled time. cardamom pods. <laughs> Think about that. That will be next month in the. I won't be able to stop thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. He's in love with the cardamom. He's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that's it. We pretty much fucking wasted your time for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to waste your time. If you have Google Chrome, type into the search, do a barrel roll, and hit enter. I remember that from a long time ago. Yeah, you can do. You have Chrome, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm recording this. Yeah, do it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sidebar, more videos down below. The Austin Mix starter kit for those that need to become home bartenders. You want to be a little shake stuff? You want to be a little cool? I want to be a bartender now. I have All some right. free time. I can, I, can, I can bartend at an establishment. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if there's any here. Nice. Um, right, we can all visit Ian while he's I'm working. Like, I don't know if you want to hire me or not, but uh, I do come with a built-in patron. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, have a, I have a customer. It'll get, it'll get you the job. It'll, it'll get you a customer. Just saying. <laughs> and you got that going for you. So you got that going for you. You're probably working some free pub on the YouTube show. <laughs> we'll teach you how to drink. <laughs> Rock Ridge cocktail. I like it. Ready? Yeah. Today, no, we're not drunk, but yes, we're making a whiskey smash. It's okay to think we're drunk, though. Good that means we're having fun. Right. Everybody and you're not, so suck it. Suck it! <laughs> <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Oh, my God. Do a barrel roll. Barrel roll. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right over here. Whoa! <laughs> wow. What happened? Screen freeze. No <laughs> catch up. Maybe you shouldn't do uh, it. Yeah, look it. at it. It's, it's because like, I probably have 17,000 well, tabs open. Because you're casting to the screen and it's probably a delay. No, video. I can see faster than that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I, I literally have like, I don't know, 30 tabs open. I, I was, the reason this came up came up today because I was showing the, the new kid who we were talking I about. I do a barrel Well, no, we were talking about how <laughs> Googling is a skill. Some people are terrible Googlers. They don't know how to search for things properly. Yeah. So you're teaching that so they'll leave you alone? Like, you need to learn how to fucking No, Google. no, he, he's, he's a good kid. He's pretty independent. He, he asks questions when he gets stuck, and that's fine. But, like, I was I was saying there was, like, a site with, like, Google Hacks, like, doing site colon whatever, oh, yeah, yeah. and, link. like, file colon Links, whatever link links. or uh, relates to or, or whatever it is. There's a bunch of different... Right. Ways you can hack Google search. Not hack, there are features built in that people don't know about. Damn, Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the smell of mint. In the morning. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm going to make sure to get all this fucking shit done this Campari time. Campari Amaro. I only got four, five things Campari, to say. Campari, ugh. Is Campari Amaro something other it's, than Campari? No, it's, it's just fancy. Okay. It just means it's a bitter aperitif. Oh, it actually says, oh, it doesn't say that. <laughs> it says actually, no, it doesn't. It says Milano. It says bitter right on it. Yeah, it's it's, it's Amaro bitter. means bitter. Fresh grapefruit juice. You cannot it's hide right that. There. It's kind of fresh. Blanco tequila. Oh, there's only tequila. one L? Is there only one L in tequila? Or is there two? Yes. There's one L. There's only one okay, L. that's why it's not tequila. Did you, I did not know this. Reason. Derek knew this, but I did not know this, that margarita is a flower. Oh, I knew because I've done research I on this crap. Okay. If you watch my video, I did on... Facts about tequila, I think I mentioned. You should watch this video. On or history of the margarita. But I was learning Spanish and found out that it meant flower. That I did well, not cool. know. Well, 
Well, not flower, a type of, a lily, what is it? A lily, uh, it's a type of flower. It's not generic flower. Right. It's a margarita flower, which is why they came up with the name. Because there's a drink a pizza. called the, I think it's called the tequila flower or the flower or something like that. That's basically a margarita. Mm. And they just kind of, it, it doesn't have the that. exact same margarita ingredients, but it's got a lot of them. We got two acids in here. I can talk about acid if I can remember to do my shit. Uh, Reflux step. I swear I removed that fucking moderator set. Yeah, you did, I thought. Did that just time out, time out him or? No, we delete. Pablo said two things and they've both been blocked. No idea what he's saying. What's that dude talking about? Low carb cocktail guy. Almost in time for your uh, executive producer status ship. It's probably the next video. He's still worse. And maybe it has to be reset afterwards. What is this? That's kind of weird. Not in there. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's what Jim said. Hmm. Ow. That was like an awkward slap that also. Large tool. That's yet to be proven. <laughs> Picks right real. Just kidding, DJ. We don't want to see that. <laughs> don't. Just don't. I got the biggest tool of them all. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I timed that, DJ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a big tool. I took it away, I just can't figure out why it won't go away. It's <laughs> a good point, Solomon. <laughs> Unless they're speaking on behalf of all other offended people, I guess. Um, board yes, full of easily offended people. We good? Hey, we good? I, I think, wait, 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 glass. Two. Three. Does it say four what kind of glass it was? Probably. Chase ran into a cocktail glass. Four and a half. Four. Then uh, like, no. Where is that? No. Here. I didn't think so. It's a cocktail glass. It's gonna be bigger than four and a half. But... This is a eight ounce glass. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna fill it like half. We'll add ice to it. Does it? Is it? Are you supposed to add ice to it? We're supposed to chill. It. Shake and strain into a chilled cocktail glass. <laughs> so that means no ice. The fuck do you want from me? Martini glass? How about a Nick and Nora? Nick and Nora, alright. It's like nine, isn't it? Six. Oh. We got water that's 20%. Okay. Okay. Because math. Because. Because math. Because math. Oh, you got me a bag. I <laughs> did. <laughs> I've been going over there and tossing stuff in the trash can. I've been, I, well, I was upstairs. You want to, ooh, you want to not touch that part when you put ice in there or whatever we do to chill it? Well, you want me to not, you want me to not touch something? <laughs> yeah, like the, the sharp part. Oh, it, okay. I'm like, I'm not going to dirty it up. I just, I've been washing, rinsing stuff. My hands are relatively clean. <laughs> Size matters. Ask any woman. I don't really know. It's not like How that. you use it. Yeah, but if you have a really tiny well, what dick... what size? <laughs> Bank account or... Uh... I guess if it's really Depends tiny... On. If you have a really person. tiny dick... Needle dick, needle like, dick. If you have a, like a one and a half inch like dick... Like Howard Stern says he is? I think he just does that for the, the, the yes, lulls. Yes, for the shock factor. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Howard Stern has a tiny dick. Yeah. I mean, News at 11. <laughs> my guess is it's not a fucking huge dick, but it might just be average my, size. My Taekwondo instructor had a great way of saying things. He was a carpenter. I'm not sure where he's going with the zoo. <laughs> and, and he always said... I'm never going to tell anybody I'm a great carpenter. 
I might tell them I'm a good carpenter. And when I'm a little better than good, they're more than happy. If I tell them I'm a great carpenter, I'm a little more than good, they're dissatisfied. Yeah. It's all about managing expectations. <laughs> uh, so that's life. That's, not, that's what I do every day. Life is all about managing expectations. I do that at karate too. And this was an instructor, right? I tell the kids that. <coughs> Fucking show me. Don't. <coughs> Don't tell me. Derek, have you heard of Ethan plus Ash? Alex Alex. <laughs> thanks, Ian. Thanks. Yeah, no, I, got, I got you, Jen. <laughs> I've been working on my pronunciation skills in <laughs> Espanol. There you go. So, it's helping. It's helping. It's helping. No. I don't think I have. Show his hands. Third man can doing. make a woman arrive by sitting on the speaker. <laughs> yeah, but that's like saying, wow, if you give so a woman a vibrator, that. she can get off. Well, yeah. <laughs> if she can't, then she's got clitoral problems. Is that the problem? Oh, it's a fusion vessel. I thought it was a vagina joke, Solomon, but no, I don't. I didn't know about that thing. Oh. We got everything. I don't know. We got everything. I just like to fucking hit the record everything. button and see what happens. Let's hit the record button and see what happens. Let's do it. Hi, right, here we go. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. We are making for you the Siesta Cocktail. I'm going to sleep. Jump cut. Yeah, there we go. He's back. All right. <laughs> the Siesta Cocktail contains, contains, contains two ounces of Blanco tequila. Don't mind him. He's drunk. Yeah, of course. Half ounce of Campari. Half ounce of fresh grapefruit juice, three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarters ounce of simple syrup, garnish with a grapefruit twist, which I'm not gonna do because I'm fucking lazy. Actually, I squeezed all the I grapefruit. So you're, you're you're delegating your laziness to me, actually. You don't have grapefruit. Yes, but you said you were lazy. Yeah. But you're delegating the laziness. No, that makes me even more lazy. That's don't true. distract me. Click the bell icon. Subscribe to the show because you don't want to miss any of this craziness. Am I right? It's about to get offensive, so buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, we we are usually warning. pretty offensive. Um, apparently. So, apparently. I'm leaving now. I don't oh, know time. what time. Whoops. What? <laughs> oh, I copy and paste. I have stuff in here that doesn't belong here. Um, our executive producer is Kyle Jorgensen. So that's going to slide across this. Jorgen or Jorgen? Okay, Jorgensen. Uh, I forget. There's people from other countries. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash cmc. If you want to become a supporter of the show, you can go to everydaydrinkers.com slash tip if you want, or tips, one of the two. If you want to be, uh, if you just want to use PayPal to be able to donate to us directly, um, the Patreon account, we've just had, it's like falling. Like people just keep leaving me. So I need to get some new blood in there to help support the show and get us month to month so I can pay bills, pay for a vehicle, pay for my camera, pay for everything. It's either that or I have to start whoring myself to sponsors. And let's face it, I don't get any of those either. We're good. Job. I got one of those. Right. So look, that's what happened. Anyway, so what the hell are you doing? Overpour. I'm not pouring back in this thing. Uh, this is the thing we do. <laughs> we do this. Whenever we overpour our citrus, we have to drink it. Or if it's like me and Dan, we can't figure out if it's on the line, we just I drink like it. I like lime juice, but... This drink was submitted by John Spikes. He's in the live stream. We do a live stream once a month, usually at the beginning of the month. Next month it'll probably be around the 3rd, if that's a Saturday. First Saturday of August, I think, is going to be the day. We're thinking of doing Mezcal drinks, Mezcal month. Um, every recipe we do will be posted on a Thursday. This month might be different, only because I have a couple extra videos to slide in there. You can, you can shake it like a bitch or something. Is that offensive? Like a Polaroid picture. Like a, po that, a Polaroid picture. I'm but, offended by your musical taste because it sounds like it came from a song that I wouldn't listen to. But you wouldn't know because... I wouldn't listen to it. Question That's of right. the day. What was the first album you owned and what was the medium? Get a grip on... No. Get a grip Aerosmith? Yeah, but no, I had CD? a... CD? You said medium. That was my first CD. And media. On your first media. Uh, Mine... I had a 45 of... 45? Of, uh... Queen? We built this city on rock. No. Starship? Yeah. Jefferson Starship? Starship? Yeah. Or, um, Starship. Uh, mine... That was my tape. I had a Billy Joel tape, I think. So did I. Mine was oh, a Billy Joel tape. Mine was a tapes Billy Joel tape that was written on Billy Joel, 52nd Street. I didn't know what... The other side was... A, no DRM whatsoever. No, it was yeah. like a black tape that I got from like my mother's oh, boyfriend had a bunch of tapes he said I could record over. Shut up. And, <laughs> uh, and it was Billy Joel, 52nd Street black market edition 
My first actual one was probably from, oh, my first, the one I can remember the best, four, was Michael Jackson Thriller on tape. Molly Crew is in there too. Oh, fuck, it's starting to hurt. A four. There we go. Oh, donations deserve high fives. Derek gets yeah, some pain. That's what happens. Every every five dollars worth of donation for those of you who are new to the live stream. Yeah. I get to slap Derek in the hand as hard he as I want. He doesn't slap like a normal person. <laughs> You know what's funny though? When I do get high fives from random people, I'm always fucking bracing. <laughs> and I'm like, and then you're like, pussy. Yeah. No, I am. I'm like, mm, that's kind of weird. That was like, kind of weird. Kinda, it kind of feels like you might be a little gay on me. That's your first high five. Yeah. How was the experience for you? Would you like to yeah. talk about it? It's, it is, I'm good, dude. Like you, you think I'm fucking kidding? Ooh. So, um, John Spice submitted this, but I think Steven's gonna like it. Uh, he didn't submit this. That's one. not bad. So I get, I get recipe at everydaydrinkers.com if you want to submit your recipes. Um, Steven and John Spikes have gone fucking crazy. They've been submitting, like, recipe, like, seven or eight a day. In There's almost, days. like, a little heat on the back. Really? I don't know why. You mean the spicy dryness? Spicy dryness. Exactly what I'm talking about. How'd you know? Do you read my mind? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like we've known each other for 20 years. Dude. 22 years? It's been that long. Yeah, it's been that long. 96, right? Wow. I'm gonna... End, end of 96? Yeah. Listen. Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. Don't make me high five you. This is probably like the best Campari drink I've ever had. I know, right? Because you can't taste the Campari. No, oh, you taste it. Oh, you can? Okay. You don't taste it? No, no, I figured that's what you were going to say. No, no. Uh, it's even got a fucking nice. It looks like a. You know what that looks like? That color is awesome. That looks fire like. Fire nice. No, it looks like a fucking Clover Club. It does look like Fire Nice. Yeah, it's too. Uh, Clover Club is. Uh, Pink. But Red? it's. Um, Foamy? Yeah. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, C Cosmo. How's that? Yeah. Go with Cosmo Samantha. <laughs> well, Eric. Oh, Eric's in the... All right, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! He loves it, see? Uh, see? <laughs> like an A. Fucking A. <laughs> Fucking A, man. No, like, I get a Campari flavor. Yes. Flavor! But, but the bitterness is, the like, taken out. Like there. It's almost no. like the tequila kind of, like, why? takes away some of that bitterness for some reason. I don't know it's why. It's like a salty Campari mm. grapefruit tart. Dry finish with a little bit of a bite. But it doesn't yeah. have the Campari like striking. Yeah. No, but it's got ah! that flavor. It's good. Ah! Like right there. Ugh! In the neck. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Like when you're not looking, that's my. Dude. Like, boom, like, boom! Say like that. Like, that. like that, and somebody yeah. does that to your neck, and you're not Oh, looking. my fucking dojo instructor does that all the time. It's like, Psh! I'm like, ah! So now I'm always doing so this. You just shit. wait until somebody did a ton of push ups, and then a couple days later. <laughs> no, I know. I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't no, do any push ups this week. Fourth of July week. Nah. No push ups for me. I did just cannonballs in the pool, though. Um, my back hurts really well. Um, this drink is fucking pretty good for what it is. Like, I wouldn't... Uh, there's... Okay. So, do we put Campari in the Division Bell? Well, no. Is that Aperol? There's something... I think it's Aperol. It's Don't remember. Campari. Good drink. Division Bell. It's right here. Um, Recipe.AustinDrakes.com to get all the good ones. So, this has, like... Uh, it doesn't have the smokiness of a Mezcal. No. Which I kind of like. But! Okay. At the same time... <laughs> It has that like, like the tequila, like that yeah, know, citrus saltiness. zesty yeah. salty boom. The agave. I don't understand why I want to drink that. You don't understand why you want to drink? Yeah, because it's got this in it, and this is my bane. Like this is Balrog, and I'm Gandalf. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. I come fucking come back, and now I'm fucking Derek the White. It, it, it's like that's you're, not you're racist Kirk at all. Con. Yeah. What? No. Kirk yes. and Con. Yeah, I'm like a fucking yeah. si uh, genetically modified fucking super being. Or am I supposed to be Kirk? You're Kirk. Oh, sorry. Kirk's the good guy, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can be the bad guy if you want. That's cool. That's totally cool. Speaking of another one. Oh, totally cool. I've got, the, I've got the tan for it. What's it's like you're the name? Avengers and that's Thanos. What's that guy's name? Who? The, from the, isn't he from the Dozeki's commerce? The, uh... No, yeah, it's not. The guy who played uh, Khan? Yeah. Roberto, uh... Montalban. Montalban, yeah. That's he's got some. Like he's, no, but he's got something. Like he does some sort of commercial. I'm sure he does. He's like a manly dude. That's he's me. A pretty well known guy. Yeah. It's like I am too. I'll People have that, met me. I'll let that comparison slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the next thing everybody's gonna ask besides before I get to my next bullet point is no, we're not drunk, dude. Like every video this week. We just oh, loosen up a little. You guys. Are the drunk. more we get into it, the more we loosen up a little bit. I know. Eric, Eric speaking Spanish. You like the Campari, yeah? Uh, our Te gusta la Campari? Oh, I said our executive producer. Me gusta la Campari. July 18th, save 18% 18 off on AustinDrakes.com. That's my store. You buy Jennifer Pax, because I work now. So she does all the packing, unless it's on a Sunday or something, then I'll help out. Um, where you can get sample syrups, you can get fucking bitters. 
Uh, all the shit you need. Look. Yeah, it's all there. All well, like this right there. That's this right here. That's what you'll we get. Use. Our used stuff <laughs> <laughs> at a premium. <laughs> no. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So you mentioned the coupon code. Like 13 seconds ago. Okay. Uh, just check him. <laughs> jump cut. Just, just jump. <laughs> Fucking jump cut. Um, I'm gonna say I suggest this drink because if you don't like Campari, this is your chance to like it. Unless you don't like tequila, then you're fucked. You need to work up Whoa. to that. Uh, we did all kinds of questions today. John Spikes, thank you for the submission. Good job. I don't remember where you found this, but it was important that I make it. Because it's good. Yeah. But I didn't know that before. So hey, that's what we do. That's, we learn. We figure shit we out. We learn together. <laughs> we learn so you don't have to. Wait. No, you're learning too. Um, anyway, on the sidebar, there's more videos. There are probably going to be like tequila or mezcal or something I spoke about. Maybe it'll be cool. Maybe it'll be whatever was in there last time because I was lazy or rushing to work or something. Um, down below, you can get the bartender starter kit so that you can get making cocktails for the first time. If you just want to get into it, you don't, you're so excited about what we did and you want to experience this joy, that's how you do it. He needs to offer a high five hand slapping kit. That'd be cool. <laughs> I need a hand slapping kit. <laughs> All right. We're teaching you how to drink. Ready? Uh, Today we're gonna make a drink for you guys. Stick around to see us make the siesta cocktail. It's a Campari cocktail that Derek gets wicked excited about. I just spoke to myself in the third person. And I'm not even speaking to him at all. See? So it's, silence. It's weird. Just give him a silent treatment. Do this for days. <laughs> <laughs> Is no, it strange that it's not bitter, or is it strange that Derek bitter. was right? Because <laughs> he's Wait. Not really surprised. <laughs> Can I have a Wait. A and B option? <laughs> That's no Chinese menu. That's you only take one from column B, one from column That's A. That's racist! So you will not take two options. <laughs> How many left we got? We got two for some reason. You know, it's I, I don't know. We've been going slow. Why yeah. is it so there is simple in there. That's only 820, I guess. Uh, why is it sweet? I don't know. Sugar? Yeah, but it's Campari. Well, Campari is, does have sweetness to it. It's just overshadowed by yeah, the middle. So the it, it's a liqueur, so there's like a lot of sugar. It has the bitter at the end, but not overpowering bitter. Yeah. Oh, I never mentioned this whole button. More like an Aperol bitter what to do with this than a Campari bitter. You like other drinks? And I would never ever say I like a party drink. So what's going on? So never say never. <laughs> never say never. But I did. We need a light rum. <laughs> Enjoy drinking yourself silly with your mother in law. <laughs> Diana. Bye, Diana. This one works. Bon chance. Right? Cause just because I don't know. Like oh, <laughs> just because I don't know how to say that in Spanish. How do you say good luck in Spanish? How do you say good I don't know. I know it's bon chance in Francais. Very good! Uh, lime juice. Lime juice, simple syrup, apricot brandy. Fucking going to go peach bitters. Those have to be from the feet. Those have to be from the feet. Right here. Alright, are we, uh, can we get the instructions up? No! National decoration. Yes, my taste is improving with age. Yeah, I guess you could look at it that way. <laughs> Chill cocktail glass. Let's see if I can remember my playbook this time. Tell people I got one. Yeah, we should mention that. Since we're at, like well, the, somebody will say something month. like in the lot in the uh, videos. Though. Like what's in the background? Hey, what's that playbook? Did you finally hit your play button? Posted it everywhere. I had like 300 likes on Instagram. Like, I, I post shit on Instagram all the time. It gets like 30 to 60 likes. I post that and it gets like 300. Oh, huh, that's mad props. It's well, why don't they like all the other shit? They should all be mad props. Well, the other shit's kind of crappy. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> you asked. Yeah, I guess I set myself up for that. But hey, Chick, don't let that affect your self esteem or ego because I know that's what social media does to people nowadays. It does. 
Oh, it probably does. But I've been around yeah. before social media was a thing. So, like, <laughs> little, I have heard, I still hear things. You're a little harder than the average Joe. Every day. Like, well, not every day, but People most, of, most of the videos that have at least uh, 300,000 views, I at least get a comment once a week. Either I'm an idiot, uh, they hate my voice, they talk too much, they didn't like the video. I'm like, well, I can believe. Oh, well, great. Well, well, why don't you send in a script and we'll make it to your specific <laughs> time? Oh, my God. Like, I find it funny that people Move have to tell on. you, like, how much, like, they have to tell you their feelings. Like, I fucking care. Yeah. So I, I thought maybe They're I should just start, that. like, fucking tearing into people just to see what they do. <laughs> just, like, like, just go all offensive on them and see if they say anything. Uh, don't feed the troll. Yeah, That's but it's fun. You can't feed, well, if, if you want to have fun, <laughs> if, you, if you can have fun feeding the troll, feed the troll. Like, if they, right if, out of your hand if you want. Yeah. Uh, if, but if it bites your hand off. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. It's my channel. That's the thing is people don't get. Like, it's my channel. So when I don't like your stuff, I could delete your stuff and leave my stuff there. <laughs> like, I could do whatever I want. And people just don't seem to get that. Yeah. Well, they should start their own channel and do things that they want to do then. Yeah. I have asked that. I've told you that. just don't watch. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know I, I usually I just say, like click something? stop. There's an X. You don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think people forgot how to do that a long time ago. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. I... I over the years, I've grown to, to like, at first, you're like, oh, that's kind of mean. Now it's like, that's kind of funny. Like, I feel sad for you, because, like, that is what you have to do right now. That is your perspective. Sucks. Yeah. Like, you suck so much that you have to just do that right now. I wonder if Curd knows. Huh? Con -con? So, sorry, no, no. Curds would know. I know Curd's a big Sandman fan. They're, like, releasing a new set of Sandman comics. Isn't he in Mike Tyson's Punch Out? Oh, no, that's Bob. Nope. Yeah. Is there's a there is a Sandman in there. Yeah. Like Tyson out there. But he doesn't do this. That's Bald Bull. Yeah, that's Bald Bull. <laughs> Sandman was pretty high up there, if I remember right. Why is Eric a mod now? Because yeah. you made him angry. So I made him a mod. It's that easy. <laughs> I'm fucking awesome. Because <laughs> it's your channel and you're a troll feeder. Eric, <laughs> Eric, Eric, no, he comments like on every video. He goes he back no, to the no, archives no. and he shows up for the live stream. That's no, like, I agree. Eric, Eric's no, very active. And, so and he's not like those super fans that are like, I am your biggest fan. Like, right there, you're a fucking stalker. Like, if you tell me you're... I, I, through history, that's been the thing. Uh-oh. What is that? Dan found my birthday presents. What the hell is that? It looks like a bunch of penises. <laughs> Where know. is he? I don't know what they are. He's in Taiwan, so yeah, it could be some weird stuff. Yeah, but it's 8.20 in the morning. He's having breakfast. He's having oh, maybe breakfast. Oh, maybe that's probably a bunch of dick pastries. <laughs> Dick pastries? Penis pastries. Hot dogs? <laughs> Dan is texting Jennifer a bunch of promiscuous, or not promiscuous, uh, phallic items. Phallic. <laughs> promiscuous is something different. It's a mode you put your network card in so you can phallic trace pastries. Am I recording? You got that going? Because I'm fucking on a roll. Yeah. All right, here we go. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Derek and Dan. No. Nope. I pointed at you said Dan. Jump cut. me and said Dan. Oh, Ian, you got in my way. Ian and me, Derek, are going to make for you I a video. Move. I, I'm move. just staying here. No. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not drunk. No, nobody's drunk. That, that's say? the problem being a fat guy. You're always in the way. Even when you try not to be Is in the way. Is that the problem? You're in the way. As a, as a bigger guy, I'll, I'll say, I try to like make myself small. It doesn't matter. Like Airplanes must you're be always in the way. You're never going to be a small guy. I'm never going to be a small guy. Never. Like, I came close before. Are so yeah, my broad, yeah. Like, you're never going to be a small guy. That's the, that's the thing. It's like, whether I'm skinny or not, I'm a, big, right, I'm a exactly. bigger guy. So it's like... <laughs> Derek's experiencing the pain right now. I know how to make you smaller. I, I walk softly, and you because I know I'm a small. Like you probably have very loud footsteps. No, I don't. I walk compared like, to me, I like walk like a fucking ninja. Okay, I, I'm gonna generalize about smaller people. <laughs> smaller people tend to have. Not that I'm calling you a smaller person, but I'm bigger than you. So smaller people tend to have very yeah, loud footsteps yeah. because they were never told to be quiet because you're making too much of a racket. Oh, yeah. short, short bald guy is what I get called a lot by the trolls. Short bald guy? Yeah. yeah. That screams a lot. I get, did I get called a tall bald guy? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> well, I wear a hat, yeah. So. Anyway, so what Surprise, we're going to do for you today is so you're going to make a national daiquiri for you. Or national. Is that how you say that in, in Cuban? National. Mike's your biggest fan. National bad daiquiri. <laughs> Uh, the Nash, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how you Same can hide a heavier eye. Ready? Over the top of this right now is our menu recipe thing. It says one and a half ounces of light rum, three quarters ounce of apricot brandy, one ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarters ounce of simple syrup, two dashes of peach bitters. Garnish with a lime wedge, unless you don't want to. Where are you going, Ian? I thought yeah. we were doing forced perspective, but I was wrong. <laughs> I'm hiding my head in shame. No, you're not. You know. How many Derek's does it take to make one of Ian? Dos. <laughs> uh, three. 
What? Well, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Stop fat shaming me. Well, how much do you weigh? I weigh 157. So I weigh 450 pounds? <laughs> okay, so I didn't do the math right. Unintentional <laughs> 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 fat shaming. <laughs> That's okay. I should be ashamed. All right, man. Let that, me take it. That one's dark. <laughs> um, so, now that you're like, what the hell did I just walk into? Subscribe to the show. There's a bell icon. Yeah, now you're, that you just got turned off, subscribe you, to this shit so you, you get some more of it. Then it'd be gone by now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? You're going to click on the check mark box thing next to the bell, and that's going to mean you're going to get emails whenever I launch an episode at 7 o'clock on Thursdays. Yes, I know i got to change my channel header. Yes, I know i got to change the channel preview video thing that plays. I'm working on it. I'm a busy guy. Uh, this executive producer's Frank Shots here. Low carb cocktail guy on YouTube. Google low carb cocktail guy, because I'm guessing there's only one. So what Frank does oh, is no. he, he makes low carb cocktails. He does. That's probably crazy. That's yes. A... Bold he, he, prediction. He does things that I couldn't do, which is to take drinks that I think taste flavorful and awesome, and somehow turn them into low carb drinks. I can't do that because my theory. Wah, I hate these fucking things. Wow. I can't pour out of them. <laughs> that was they awesome. Don't, they don't pour it. I'm about to have a soapbox rant, but you won't be able to see my head. Yeah. Um, my theory is, and I have poor spouse for this, by the way. Um, no, no, my please. theory is, if you're drinking, just fucking go out and just run extra tomorrow. But that's me. My um, theory is, don't run, but keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a perspective for everybody. Yeah, I, I mean, basically do what you want to do. Right. Now, if this drink is good, and it probably is, because this came from John Spikes. Um, this was found on Jeffrey Morgenthaler's website. He adjusted it a little bit from the original National Daiquiri, which I believe might actually be documented in Jeff Beach Bumberry's book, Potions of the Caribbean. You should buy that wow. book. You can see that. If you want, I would suggest using the Amazon affiliate link that I'm going to try and link below so you can get the Potions of the Caribbean. This is a good drink, by the way. Whatever it was. It's up here. Yeah. We've had, well, I've had clarified tequila milk. Really? Did you have that at the Bancroft? I did not. Okay, she probably We actually there. haven't gone back since we the did. waitress left. Yeah. Or since the last time Dan told us to come over and visit her. I don't, yeah, I don't, wait, maybe we did it. Because she made it. had that. It, it was like milky we tequila. It was crazy. Yeah, I know. She made it on her own. It wasn't on the right, menu. It, right, it's an off menu thing. Yeah. Oh. We may know. have had it. So, for those that don't know, what, what Jeffrey Morgenthaler is, is adjusting here is the National Daiquiri, which is from the Hotel National in Havana. So, I figured, why not use a fucking Cuban rum? Because if I were to make this in Havana, I would probably be doing it with the government-funded rum, Havana Club. The, the Cuban sense. version of Havana Club, not the Bacardi version, because I could have used that, but this seems more appropriate given the circumstances. We've got no lime wedge. Fuck lime wedges. Well, Hawk and Clarified Milk Punch. Only if says if we do a Mezcal Month, we have to do it. Only if you've got a tiny dick. Oh. Uh, fuck a lot of Well, Hawk and Clarified Milk Punch. I don't even know how much time it takes to clarify milk. Slide whistle slurp time. <laughs> wow. No, it's Somebody not layered. On. Slide whistle slurps for layered drinks. Mmm. It's not bad. It's that mmm, -hmm, I guess. It's quite involuntary, so... You know, if there's an involuntary, mm, <laughs> it's probably good. good, yeah. It's the peach. If it just inspires an involuntary, mm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, like Eric is saying in the live stream, you can buy this in Mexico. If you're in the United States and you're like, how do I get this? You go uh, to Mexico. Airport? I usually get it at the duty-free airport in uh, Cancun. When so you, you have to travel. Basically, you have to you travel. You can get it anyway, any duty-free that you travel out of the country. Yeah. All right. Uh, I like the peach in here. Hmm. It gives it a different a peach and apricot and like the sweetness of the apricot. This stuff, I tried this to make sure it was okay because I haven't drank it in a long time. And it's it's pretty strong. <laughs> I believe the slide whistle slurp is after the slide whistle suck. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. This Very is, true. This is like, this is the second daiquiri we've done this yes. month. Uh, I like the yeah. fact that you could take a daiquiri and just add a little nuanced spin to it. I think maybe that's why, like we were saying before, uh, a lot of bartenders will... Be interviewed making the daiquiri. That's the drink you get interviewed right. on. And I think that's probably why, because I mean, you can do so much with such a simple drink. That is why I would love to be interviewed with the daiquiri, because I know I can do that. Right. Like, I'm pretty sure I could do. 
Yeah, like a little a little dash of like saline or salt, and it's a yeah. simple drink, yeah, but is. you can make it really well. And then you, I mean, yeah, if you, you can throw in a bitter and then put in the salt. Yeah. So you're getting that. You can you can show off your knowledge of bitters. You can show off your knowledge of ratios or flavor right. pro, pro, uh, profiles and. And the pairing of the different flavors, it's so open ended because rum has a flavor, but it's not it's not like vodka, but it's not. Uh, it's it's not tying you into a specific flavor profile, so no. you can go. But well, you could make anything. it with something like maison and have right. like a whole different flavor daiquiri. Than you do if with you're that, using a, a funky a Jamaican. Or yeah. You can use a a, a goya a goyana goyana guiana guiana. Yeah. Um, you can that use an agricole like but it, and then you can mix up your syrups. You can do a, right a, now. A, you can add your flavored syrup, syrup or yeah or a flavored and, syrup or your flavored bitters, like especially with the Fee Brothers bitters because they're so. I mean. The Fee Brothers tends to bring a little bit of sweetness. If so, but the thing I'm saying is like you can do peach, but you can then do cherry if you want to do that instead. I wouldn't do them all, but you can, no, no, you can take them in a different there. directions and get a different flavor each time with a good cherry. base. Yeah, and that, those those would probably work okay. Yeah. You know what I like right now? Have you had the Rainier cherries? Yeah, we have them upstairs. Yes. They're oh wait, so good. do we eat them? They're all gone. Those are but uh, they're the lighter. Those are the cherries, lighter. Right? Yeah, they're like the yeah. yellow and red. Yeah. They're so good. They're, so, oh, they're like twice I as expensive, but they're so good. Oh, yeah. Cherries are super expensive, and, and our birds they're, they're, eat all of them. I have three well, cherries. The rainiers are twice as expensive as the black cherries. Really? Yeah. yeah. They they're like five, I, six I bucks like a pound. Of <laughs> I always I buy two so bags. Good. I'm like, why the hell is my bills so high? Yeah. I don't oh, discriminate. I'll eat them all. Yeah. <laughs> Jen will pop any cherry. Oh, pop any cherry. That goes in her mouth. I'm I'm like, I think I need to go take a moment. <laughs> you want me to narrate your moment? Would that, would that help uh, you out? Is that what's? I don't know. That's a good idea. I can go all James Earl yeah. Jonesy on you. I don't know. That was grandma. And know then he can switch to I Carmen. Know I know that's a bad idea. Hey, don't pop a chip. I can't. You do Carmen. I can't do Carmen. God damn it! See, uh, uh, the coupon code this month is July 18. You can save yourself 80 percent until August 10th. Uh, that is for anybody who wants to purchase, I don't know, bitters, let's say Peach Bitters, Fee Brothers, Peach Bitters at awesomedrakes.com. We don't sell alcohol, but we have your bitters, your syrups, yeah. all your cocktail gear you need. Technically, you do serve alcohol in your bitters. True. But it's People still are questioning, like, how come you can sell bitters? Like, I have people who want to sell bitters. They ask me questions. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to give you all the answers because you're trying to do my job. Right. But I can tell you that in the United States, anybody can sell bitters because bitters are already covered by the TTB, so you don't have to write about it. Um, unless you sell bitters that aren't already because covered. Because you can't by the get drunk on bitters because you'll throw up first. You can. I think Maybe you get drunk. On, yeah, no, it would take you a long time to get drunk on fees, though, right? There it's is. Yeah, there is no. It's like two. The highest one is like six percent. Yeah, so it's very. You As opposed to forty-five percent. Like you could take uh, vanilla extract and get yourself fucked up. Well, think about uh, uh, Angostura. That. Uh, Angostura sour? You gotta yeah. have a stomach ache. That's the only alcohol in the drink. It's Angostura, right. Orgeat, and right. uh, lemon juice, I think, right? Is it yeah. lemon juice or lime juice? I don't know, but I like it. I can't Angostura remember. sour. Wait, Trinidad sour? Trinidad sour, yeah. Trinidad sour. I think I mentioned yeah, that last Yeah, it's got an week. ounce of Angostura, and that's the primary liquor. That's, yeah. That is the liquor. And it's fucking awesome. So you can get drunk off those things. Oh, you can. And you're Legal. not going to have you're not gonna right. have whatever you can get from, like, burps, hiccups. You yep. won't get those. Nope. And you know what? You probably have a well-settled stomach because that's what bitters used to be for. Right. Yes, that is what. So you have a well-settled stomach, well-settled stomach, no burps, for at least three minutes. And so then you got that going for you. And then you know, drink till you puke. Yeah, then it's not so well-settled. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do agree, though, that Je Jeffrey Morenthaler has done. I don't know what he's done differently from this versus the other ones, but I know the reason I selected this, outside of the fact that John sent it. But the reason I picked it was because Morgan Thaler's Amar um, Amarillo or the Amaretto Sour we make, Amaretto Stone Sour, mm. it's freaking good. Yeah. And I, I don't like his fact that he used two-thirds of an ounce of whiskey. It's fucking, what the hell is that number? Um, so he did adjust it on his website. He has like oh, cool. a blog, and he made the adjustments. I just got to figure out how to make my own adjustments in my database. So you can go to recipe.awesomedrinks.com to find this and other drinks. Um, Stone Sour. It's a good drink. This is simple. And all you need is that little bitter nuance and apricot brandy, which is probably like nine bucks for a bottle. And that's something you just sit on the stoop and just drink out of the bottle later if you can't yeah. find another use for it. Yeah, fucking, I just make, make it some right fun in the for your mother in law. She'll love you. That's what I'm saying. Oh. That's uh, one way to get in your mother in law's panties. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow, you just took it there, huh? I did. It's been a while since I took anything anywhere, so I figured I'd take that there. Just go all the yeah. way. Wow. And the Trinidad sour. Don't use that. <laughs> Question of the day. 
<laughs> right in the comments. I got you, Jen. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> right in the comments, the, the, the craziest one-line statement that you've heard that matches. It, it could be offensive, because I'm cool with that. Yeah, everyone's uh, cool with offensive. Funny. Well, like, well, what is that one-liner? could be from a movie that you just find hilarious. And I don't care how, how offensive it is. I'll just If it goes into my filter, I'll just unfilter mm -hmm. it. Because I do have a lot of words filtered. Taking most of what is going to be in blazing saddles, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but the, what's my highest? I told you to wash up after the cross burdens. <laughs> you remember the? I've never seen it. No. <laughs> Sorry. Life. Where are all the white women at? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, blazing saddles. You got that going for you. Every other quote's inappropriate. It's great. Jump cut. Sidebar. It's gonna be videos. I don't know if it's gonna be, but it's gonna be awesome. Down below the bartender starter kit for awesomeberries.com where you can use the coupon code I gave you earlier that I, I think I did um, to get yourself a bartender kit with all the stuff you need. If not, start probably on the thing somewhere. Bartender at home. Yeah. yeah. It's on yeah, the, the thing. Coupon code's on the thing. Yeah. It's on the thing. Just look for the thing. It's there. <laughs> did you not a drink? <laughs> oh. oh, you ready? Today we're making a drink. Oh, I yeah. forgot what we were making because we just chit-chatted our whole way through. But it was a tasty drink and it was daiquiri-ish. Oh, it had peach bitters and apricot brandy in it. It's good. You should try it. National daiquiri. <laughs> National daiquiri. That's what it is. Got it. Now I remember. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Light dawns on Marblehead. I haven't been to Marblehead. I don't want my light dawn. It's only 30 minutes away. Oh, that's peachy. Peachy. It's Lick apricot. It before you stick it. Good. Simple drink. This one has the orange juice that's been sitting there for way too long. Why is this so slow? Oh, that's tasty. You've got a lot Why of is it so what? <laughs> slow. Oh. Did you say slow? I did. But I didn't mean it. Whoa. Well, good catch, Derek. Good catch, Derek. <laughs> I was going to say that. You said that. I said that. I said it. You did say that. I said that. <laughs> oh, shit. He didn't mention it. <laughs> <Didn't> I, <laughs> and, I, well. and I didn't remind you to mention it. It's gone. It's horrible. Damn it. Jen hates all our drinks. I ate all the drinks tonight. They're horrible. Is SoCo one of the cordials or is it one of the whiskeys? You have SoCo. Oh, it's a whisk. I put a, I think, I don't know. I think it's oh, one of the whiskeys. I think, I feel like, yeah. what? No, I feel like I put it under a whiskey because that was where people would look. And what else okay. do we need? We need bourbon whiskey. What do you want to use for bourbon whiskey? Well, let's not use 120 again. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. Let's not use 120. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just bought this. Wiggle? Yeah, I've never even opened it. Oh, we'll use this then. Wait, don't you have Remember I Remember, you put that away? Yeah. Do you want to use this in a cocktail? This looks like good whiskey. It was on sale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have liquor stores and carrying it. Anymore. Yeah, they fucking, they got rid of it. I didn't know it was there and they got rid of it. Maybe they suck at marketing. They Wiggle. have a lot of mezcals though. They well, do. Wiggle's got good stuff. They have like a really good rye. This is, well, it's at like $50 on sale. It was $50 on sale? Yeah. yeah so. No, I went in the liquor store. Dude, I went in the liquor store like last week. We spent what? $250? Oh, and yeah, I bought like, bought like four bottles. Four bottles. Of <laughs> so this? That's how you know your tastes are getting involved. Yeah. I know! So this is uh, Le Leanda Oaxaca. The Mezcal de Leanda Oaxaca. That was $50. This, this was, was the cheap one. It was what? 50, 50 something, like 56, 56 yeah. Um, yeah. The other one was 80. The other one, yeah. I didn't buy that oh, one. Well, I guess you saved 30 bucks. See? I fucking sell right shoppers? there, smart <laughs> one. You are. And then we had to buy the, actually, Oh, we bought Luxardo Maraschino. That wasn't actually that much. <laughs> no, that was the cheapest thing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Is this the old one? We're buying, you're buying Luxardo. Yeah. That's the cheapest thing. Look, 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 look. Mm. Not, there you go. Mm. There you go. Mm. I don't get anything in here. Okay. It uh, looks like there was little uh, lies. See, there's some lie. Okay. <laughs> I just want everybody to see your lies. Four drops. I don't even feel drunk from that. Yeah, but you feel flavor from that. <laughs> Wait. I feel orange. I feel flavor. Cherry. I feel cherry from that. I feel cherry from that. I'm all energized now. I think it's something that had sugar in it. I wonder what that tastes only like. What? I'm channeling mm -hmm. DJ's hatred. Why am I doing that? Stop hating, Jen. <laughs> I thought I saw DJ leave. He did. He said he won't be back for a while. He's all angry because I... Did he leave or is he stalking he the channel? He might be stalking, but... 
he's all mad because I de demodded him for fucking blocking people. Going on a block rampage. Like no. you can't you because... can't block people because somebody insults you. Like that's not what moderators do. Has any other moderator ever done that? Probably. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure no. They have. I've never oh, seen they, any they moderator moderate. They, uh... Unless there's somebody being like a wicked dick, like typing over and over like fucking characters and shit. Like you guys have some good stamina to three drinks and you're gone. Oh my god, god, Holy I haven't even god. drunk yet. I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, oh, three no, drinks and I'm gone. gone. I get it now. I'm oh. being him. <laughs> I get it. I see, you changed the words on me. Gotcha, maybe we are gone. I, I didn't know. change the words on you. You said you're gone. I said I'm gone, I You played. used your fucking Massachusetts accents on me. This is a stir, nice. What? Oh, yeah, I know, it's uh, weird. I don't know why it's a stir. Alright, we're we ready to go. I don't know. Because there, oh, there's orange juice in there. Potatoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mas papas. Potatoes. You have Mucho to do this papas. with your hands. Mas. Oh yeah. So you're gonna stir. You want a glass? No, it's in the glass. Do you like no. fried rice? It's not fucking in the glass. Te gusta arroz frito? <laughs> I can't roll my tongue. Arroz. Frit? Do I want a rice? Arroz. Do you like fried rice? Arroz. Oh, frito. frito. I didn't. Yeah. See. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> Me gusta uh, arroz frito. Can you roll your tongue? No. I can't either. But I can go. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> and if I do it fast enough when I'm talking, it passes. <laughs> 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 I can do like tres. Like, tres? I, yeah, see, you I can't roll your tongue? What's wrong with you? I can't roll my tongue. Or pero. Arroz. Your tongue pero, tarted. Pero. Caro. Yeah. Caro. Caro and caro. Tienes un caro caro. Yeah, that's right. Caro. <laughs> caro. Yeah, like that. Why don't you do Spanish instead of German? Because German, you really are too. Well, you should learn Spanish too. <laughs> I already know Spanish. Stop I slacking! I learned three years of Spanish. You don't know Spanish. I know Spanish. I, I know. So madre. Huh? I know all those words that you say on your little thing. You do not. I make some stuff up. I get it right sometimes. Yeah, like exactly. That. Chicken salad. <laughs> All right. Ensalada de pollo. Con pollo. De pollo. So oh, I can. <laughs> no, but chicken salad would be. Con pollo. Ensalada de pollo. Oh, yeah, pollo. if, yeah. If like, chicken oh, salad. Like chicken? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can read a Spanish menu and understand what I'm ordering, which is probably more important. That's important. Yeah. I can ask for a table for two or four or whatever number. Una mesa para dos, por favor. Yeah, see? I got a mesa for you. Pero dos personas. Get your hands on the mesa and start going. Dos personas y oh, shit, I'm uno sorry. pero. <laughs> one <Okay. bite. laughs> He gets the scraps. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is what you're going to do. You know what you're doing? Pull you're going to take hands. those ingredients and you're going to stir them. The Southern Comfort yeah, and bourbon do that. and ice. You're just going to chill them. Juice, uh -huh. Southern Comfort, bourbon, and ice. Which is good because that juice is fucking warm. Then when it's all stirred, we're going to throw it in here over we're gonna ice. We're going to float the slow. Then we're going to float the slow. Slow float. Fucking Taco Bell style. <laughs> Diane is back. I thought you were drinking with, like, mother-in-laws and stuff. Here we she go. She made her a fuzzy navel, and uh, <laughs> yeah. that was it. That's all done. <laughs> Welcome to Comet Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. That's all we got here. You can leave. No, just kidding. Today, we're going to make the southern, no, we're going to make the slow, comfortable screw. Did yeah, we yeah. do this already? No, we've done the slow, comfortable screw against the wall. Up against the wall. Oh. Which is vodka, I think, and, and it's Galliano. Uh, Galliano, because it's a Harvey wall banger. Yes. This is the basis for the slow, comfortable screw against the wall, the slow, comfortable Mexican screw against the wall, the slow, comfortable screw with the oily whisket, I don't know. There's fucking names all over the place. For In the bathroom of a gay bar. Yeah, there's oily all kinds whiskey? of, <laughs> I don't know, I just made some shit up. It's a thing! It's an oily whiskey. I don't know! There's a thing! There's like a lot of drinks with this name. There's this like is... made up words in that drink name. <laughs> this is the basest. This is the basest the of all. That's like I think you've been, you've been saying racist too much. Everything is the basest. I say racist all the time. <laughs> you say racist, I say racist. racist. Hey, you say shut up for a second. So, this drink is going to be one and a half ounces of Southern Comfort, half ounce of bourbon whiskey, three and a half ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice and a half ounce of slow gin fluid on the top. Now, I say freshly squeezed orange juice because I fucking mean it. Listen, there's a video all about how fake orange juice is. If you didn't know that, you should know now. I, I know Adam ruins it, everything ruined it for a while. I was gonna say, if you don't want, yeah, go watch uh, Adam ruins everything. They're, they're basically, they use flavor packets to produce orange juice to match the flavor profile that they want. Flavor packets are just a bunch of chemical stuff 
but they use actual um, tincture. Or they use the, the like orange essence, so essence so that they don't have to actually say it's made from artificial flavors because it's made from natural ingredients. It's just not the orange juice that were used to press to make the orange juice. Side note. Secondly, that looks really good. Um, the way we're going to build this. Thanks. And this is uh, submitted by Jay Kittles. I'm used to it. I almost forgot to say thanks. Kittles and Slow. Jay K sent this over. I changed this recipe a little bit by doing some Googles, finding out kind of what fits the Slow Comfortable Screw. There's actually not that many recipes out there, ironically. And this one calls for stirring your base ingredients, and then you're going to pour it over ice into a tall glass like this. This is a Chicago Highball available at awesomedrinks.com. You can use coupon code JULY18. Save 18% off at awesomedrinks.com to buy those a little bit cheaper than they are already. There goes that. Which is already pretty cheap. <laughs> so, this is important because the orange juice, it's kind of warm, it's been sitting down here for the whole recording. For those that care, uh, the, I guess the fans of the show, this is what YouTube has sent us. This is called the silver play button. For those that have other YouTube subscribers that are, are it's YouTube, a party sound in the background. YouTube, let's see, it's silver. It looks more silver from here. Um, if you've been watching other big YouTubers that have a bunch of these different color buttons, there's silver, there's gold, there's ruby, I think. I think it's a 10 million or something like that. This, when you hit 100,000 subscribers, YouTube sends this to you free of charge. Probably they changed it. It used to just be a button. Now it's an actual plaque. Um, it has our name on it and says we have over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, if you've been watching and being like, oh, when are you going to hit your number? We hit it a while ago, actually, probably three or four months ago. They sent this to me a couple of days ago or weeks ago or something. It's kind of been hiding in the back, so I wanted to see if anybody said anything. That and I forgot was there. Uh, it's nice. I don't, I don't like free stuff. Yeah. It looks nice. I'd be happier with more viewers than a plaque, but I'll take one. <laughs> I mean, it took 10 years to get there. That's what, how many subscribers? That's 10,000 subscribers a day, a year? No. Yeah. Is it? 10,000 a year. I'm going to break that down by the day now. It, it was a lot higher, and then it went down, and now it's like at about, we get about 3,000 a month. You yeah. peaked. Yeah. Peaked. You peaked. No. It happens. I Nothing yeah. to be ashamed of. I mean, everybody peaks. It's not, oh, I, sometimes I, it happens later in I think life. I sometimes peaked it like happens two, earlier. I think 2014 was probably our best year. Okay. And now I'm at the point where... That makes like, sense. I think that's when I started. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, at this point... Oh, I should probably leave that for a second. I think that's when you moved to the basement, actually. And Kurt was in here. And, no, I, right? They're like, I don't Kurt remember. on the show. Maybe. I'm done. Yeah. Um, it actually has nothing to do with the year. Specifically, it has to do with the algorithm and uh, them changing okay. how search is relevant. Yeah. And some of the ways people watch content today. They don't watch us like they used to because they people look, they're chasing like the fucking crazy stuff. Hmm. Like if I go jumping up cliff diving and shit, I get a lot more views. With a cocktail? Totally. If With you, a cocktail? That's what you need to do. Or if you jump right. over a waterfall and With die. With a cocktail. Right. Did, Did you, you get fucking tons no. of views? Three YouTubers like died going over a waterfall. They're like an adventure channel. Well, they're stupid. Well, no, I think they did normal adventure stuff. I don't know what happened. I just saw a headline. I, I don't want to say they're stupid. I, they're dead, Jim. Yeah, I, I have did. some respect. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. You can't get away with everything. <laughs> birthday goddamn it i can say what i want easy logan paul no but at the same time Whoa, well, we'll go there. at the same time there is a good po underscore point there that you have like a lot of channels to get the views they have to keep getting crazier and crazier and crazier to top what they did last time yeah. so yeah, my well. my option is how about no how about we just oh yeah, fuck Steven, oh Steven wants some crazy that's as crazy as i get I'll take, I'll take the pain. Oh shit! Those are three good ones. <laughs> Hold on. Three on two hands. I'm happy with those. Happy with those three. Thank you. Thank you for that, Stephen. Our executive producer is Mark Brown. Thanks, Mark. There you, you go. Fortnite and cocktails. There's your winner. Right. Fortnite and cocktails. See, that's the problem. Like Ian's all in. He's like, yes. Done. People, people like try and chase the next greatest thing to be on the top of YouTube. I just said, fuck it. You know what? We drink anyway. Like, if we want to hang out and we need an excuse to hang out, here we are. Anyways, and everybody else gets to like. see. Let me hang out on video. Tastes like orange juice, actually. Did you put whiskey in here? Yeah. Um, it tastes like a sweet. It's like speaking of hanging out, I'm cleaning up. It's like a sweet. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck was in this drink. Thanks! 
Don't hit Derek. It's just for congrats. Oh, okay. <laughs> Since you specified, we will spare his hand. He's so gonna, he's gonna need that later after his mother-in-law comment. <laughs> oh wait, am after I? After my mother-in-law comment. This isn't a jerk-off thing. Yeah, no, it was. Oh, yeah. Okay, because my hand's numb, so I might feel like the stranger. Oh. Give me the thing. Ian, yeah, you need to teach your alternate co-host Dan how to slip hand slap. He doesn't like the hand slaps either. He had sensitive hands. Oh, we did hand slaps. Sensitive slash. everything. We did hand slaps everything. last month. <laughs> we did hand slaps last month. It was very gentle. It was very gentle. Did you gingerly touch tips and prepare for battle? Oh, we were sort of fighting all over the place. Um, that was a movie quote for anybody. Uh, anybody out there who gets the quote automatically wins nothing. So you win. Fire away. Nothing. So this doesn't doesn't touch tips and prepare for puzzle. This doesn't taste like this new. Is this the last drink? Yes. This doesn't taste. You missed. I was, oh, I was going blind. Oh. So <laughs> if you guys would like us to review this next month, I won't be able to because it's mezcal month, and I got a lot of mezcal to take a look at. But this is Wiggle Pennsylvania Bourbon. Uh, Wiggle is a fantastic <laughs> you company. This? I'm not. It's got to be like a month and a half too. Uh, but I could do. It'll probably be gone by then. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It, it, no. I don't think so. 15 months no, uh, count, aged. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a bourbon whiskey. It was like $50 on sale. I don't know what it really goes for, but it's probably really expensive. Uh, probably overkill for a slow, comfortable screw. But at the same time, um, that's awesome. that's all I got to be fucking crazy about. I'm not going to cliff dive. I'm not going to kill myself. Hmm. So I just use really expensive bourbon <laughs> and an orange juice based drink. You just fart. What was that sound? Was that you? No, was that, that was you. It sounded like you squeaked one out. Yeah. Jump cut. <laughs> no, but you, you don't understand. When there's fucking weird squeaky sounds, that you means it, right? shit's going to break. Like, that's not normal. It, it, I thought it was weird. I thought it came out of your butt. No, but I, I heard it too. It was like a little, like somebody stepped on a mouse. Anyway. It was like somebody farted, right? I don't know what that was, but now something's breaking is all I know. This is what a concerned homeowner does. He goes, what the fuck was that noise? That's different. I'm glad Those aren't pastries. Those were wood carvings. What? Wooden statues. What are we oh, talking about? Penises. <laughs> oh, fertility. <laughs> yeah. Fertility statues. It's like I have no idea what Happy why. lucky number one, penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, we might have said what this was. It tastes like orange juice and It's and a slow, sweet. comfortable screw. I don't know why you float that on top because it sinks. It sinks, yeah. Um, well, I think, I think the thing is that the slow gin we use is a higher end slow gin, so it probably doesn't uh, have the syrupy content. Yeah, or maybe it has more syrupy. I don't know. I don't know. It tastes fine. You know what yeah. it is? It's, fr it's a freshly squeezed orange juice. It's fucking awesome. It makes a difference. It's Valencia oranges. They're the best fucking oranges. You do get a little Southern Comfort sweetness and a little twang, but it's it's fine. I like it. It's just, I mean, this is a good poolside drink. Danny's on top of it. She just remembers her middle daughter's birthday. That's why they're going out there. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. There's so much going on. It's oh. hard to keep track. It's I'm not helping. I'm not helping. Tonight. It's all over the place. Um, so, since it's all over the place, here's what I guess. You know, when we did this every week, we had our shit together. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we, we did it every week. week. <laughs> <laughs> Things fly off the handle. It's awesome. Um, so, question today. Did you like it every week or now that everything's fucking chaos? <laughs> you, you leave your answers. Um, so, A, click the bell icon and subscribe to the show. Hmm. B, like the video. C, one, two, three, go to recipe.awesomebrace.com and... Start bookmarking some of the stuff. Here's what I did. Four. Four? Who's the executive producer? Mark Brown. I think I said that. Okay. I might have actually got that. I went right to four. Okay. V. Uh, Baku is July 18th. Save 18% off at awesomedrakes.com. Which recipe.awesomedrakes.com kind of goes to. Here is the thing. Um, I was going to say about that. I updated recipe.awesomedrakes.com because I was annoyed. Here's what I did. What did you do? I made a servings option because I okay. was saving that for later. Because I was going to write some crazy code to do it to see if I could help me get a job. But I got a job, so I don't need to do that anymore. So I took the lazy man's way out. And there's a servings option. It's 1 through 10. So you can say, I want 10 servings. Boom. It just does the math. It's fucking easy. Easy peasy. Times 10. Boom. And whatever it is, you get your answer. So when I'm at nice. the pool and somebody says, let's make daiquiris, I can't make one daiquiri at the pool. I have yeah. to make them in sets of five because that's so two you, drinks. So as you make one, someone else is going to make No, no, no. This is two people. Oh. Her and Don's mom. Okay, so you gotta make doubles. <laughs> no! I gotta make five to ten. It's doubles. It's doubles. Okay. Because they put them in solo cups, right? So yeah, they're yeah. fucking big. <laughs> so making a daiquiri turns into making ten daiquiris. This is not their daiquiri. Guys. No, no, no. That's, this is their daiquiri. That's their daiquiris. 
So that's how I make a daiquiri. So I need the servings. Yeah, pint of daiquiris, please. Yeah. <laughs> so I need the servings in order to not have to do the math every time. Because like and I'm you like do looking this at the by a swimming pool where they can easily pass out into the pool. I have never seen either of them pool. even no, trip weren't. weird. So you've never seen Jen trip weird at the pool? No. Okay. So Closing what up. I'm saying. I keep my shit together. Trip weird. Short story <laughs> long is I added a servings option to do all the multiplication for you. Now Stephen is like, well now can you change the the scorpion bowl because now it's set for a scorpion bowl size and now you're saying a servings of ten. No, because that's fucking hard. And I like the scorpion bowl because it's a bowl, so it should be in that size. Yeah. So if you want servings of ten, that's ten bowls. Fuck that. Right. Ouch. Go, oh, Edward summer drink this year is a tequila sour. Tequila sour. Good there drink. you go. Also known as uh, Margaret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> it's like my tequila sour is different than the margarita because one had egg whites and okay. a different balance. But other right. than that, it's it's, it's and like you, and you don't have to use agave tequila. in a sour. You don't have to use. No. I don't think we use an agave. I don't remember what we you use wouldn't use an agave necessarily use an agave syrup as a sour, but you would definitely for a margarita. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I think. Yeah. That's neither here nor there. Um, you can go and check all that stuff out I just said. Otherwise, there's a sidebar, because we're done for the month. This is actually already in August. Um, this video is like way late, I think. So, uh, sidebar for more videos down below the awesomedrinks.com bartender starter kit so that you can get started making drinks. If you already have all that stuff, we have bitter syrups and all the other stuff you're going to need anyway, so go there and buy stuff. Yeah. That's my pitch. We gave you a video for it. free. No complaints. No! We don't want to hear it. No! We want your love and adulation. We don't want your bitching and moaning. Love and masturbation! We're teaching you how to drink! In Vegas. <laughs> we did say masturbation. We don't want that. <laughs> we, want, we don't want your masturbation. No. Please do not send that. I'm going to bring that up. Send your masturbation. <laughs> Today we're making this low comfortable screw. Please don't send your love and masturbation to us. Watch till the end. You'll get it. It's... <laughs> No, I'm not drunk! <laughs> God damn! Maybe a little. <laughs> Jennifer is. She's been drinking all these. Love They're it. all good drinks. Send us your love. Was that intentional? Yeah, because you said adulation. I did say adulation. So I went with what goes with it. That doesn't go. And adulation, masturbation, don't you see? They rhyme. That's oh, what I was going okay, for. Okay, okay. Yeah, it pretty much tastes like orange juice. Yeah. Sweet orange juice. Yay! We did it! We did it! Now we, only have, we have like uh, 60, 75 high fives through. 75 high fives. Is he still in the <laughs> chat room? <laughs> Is he still there? Maybe he's gone. He's got to be there next month. <laughs> you got to spread him out over multiple tapings. This has got to be like seven months worth. Well, we of... finished with what? Three or four? We did four? At least seven. Mm -hmm. No, we did, for him we did like three or four. Well, it's because yeah, Stephen kept... Let's do one more just to make it an even five. Okay. Oh! So it's like oh. a nice wet hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a wet there. handed. There's a lot of sugar in cocktails. I'm out that I was in with 520 this morning. I'm all ready to go. You're up at 520? Middle daughter's birthday is today too. Who? Diana's middle daughter. <laughs> She's like, this moment, I forgot we were going out for her birthday. <laughs> we were going to go out for Jen's birthday, and then we figured out we had a live stream. So she doesn't get a birthday nope. dinner. Thanks I to you guys. I don't get my chicken scampi that I get once a year at Olive Garden. <laughs> Which is okay, because so, Olive Garden makes me... So how old are you now? 32, 33? Yeah, 20. Somewhere around there? Okay. 20? Yeah. Oh, somewhere around there. <laughs> 41. 41. 41. 41. Hey, I heard you were going somewhere for what? your 40th. Yeah, now go Iceland. Iceland, that's it. Yeah. Nice. That should, should be, be cool. Yeah. It's kind of uh, Dr. Plummer's uh, idea. He wanted to go somewhere for uh, for 40th plus like a bachelor party type thing. And, oh, uh, nice. He always bachelor wanted... party is? What's, yeah, he's getting married in September. Huh? The end of September. But when are you going to Iceland? The beginning of September. Oh, you are? Yeah. So is it going to be cold there? Yes, it's going to be, I think the average temperature around that time is like 50 degrees. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not too bad. No, I mean, it's perfect for me. I'm a cold weather person. Yeah, so. that's not too bad. You're from Maine. That's like fucking summer for you. Exactly. <laughs> Except for the fact that Maine is just as hot as it is here. How was your dad's birthday? Uh, it was good. We poured a concrete slab. 
Oh, that's we, right. We Happy birthday! We replaced a couple windows and I took them out to Longhorn. Nice. That's where we wanted to go, so I went to Longhorn Steakhouse. I, I said, oh, don't you want to go to Texas Roadhouse? He's like, no. Nah. I'm like, we could get you up on a saddle and make it sing to you. He's like, yeah, we'll go to Longhorn. <laughs> Ian is probably 40 or close. I'm, Ian will be I will be 40. When? Be 40. At some point in the year. Whenever Facebook tells me? Whenever Facebook. No, I turned off my birthday notifications. People don't need to know. <laughs> it's November 27th, though. You can know. <laughs> yeah, but, but how am I going to remember? It's you don't, you don't have calendar. to remember. It's not special. I, I'm not a b big birthday person. So. My birthday was spent on a plane. It was. We went to the Dominican and his oh. birthday. Oh, yeah. That's, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. I think I remember that. April. Yeah, you were watching Kevin. Yes. Watering plants. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, both of those. And then we have to celebrate Jen's birthday when Dan gets back. Because we had to drink and find an excuse anyway, so. In, in like it's good to be used as an excuse, isn't it? Yeah. For drinking? <laughs> I was just, when do we need an excuse? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, well, maybe we'll just have cake or something. <laughs> By the ocean. Yeah. By the ocean. No. Yeah. An excuse to eat cake is a good excuse. It needs to be ice cream cake, though. Ice cream That's cake. Because it's winter. It's Who's summertime. Andrew? Packed on the pounds. Maybe that's me. That must be you. <laughs> must be me. <laughs> Amy and Andrews. Ian. Does Austin Green ship to Canada? No. Uh, it did. I mean, I can, but I don't publish it because I'm sick of dealing with people. It depends how loose he is. How many dicks is Daniel? Let's go back. I told him that I needed one. He sent me a picture of a bunch of dicks. Oh, you better watch out. He will fucking buy one. He's going like, to buy you. Either the biggest or the smallest one you can find. They're the wooden dicks. I'm like, you need to buy me one of those. <laughs> you, you know that's, I, you know that's what he's gonna do. Dan doesn't spend money. I don't have to worry about that. Oh, <laughs> he'll, spend, he'll, spend he'll spend money on women. <laughs> like, he spends money. Yeah. I know he spends. He's money. not shy. I'm just kidding. He just doesn't spend money. He on spent a lot of money on traveling place. this year, though. He, I mean, they went to Paris yeah, earlier. Paris. Taiwan. And Taiwan. And they're going be, to Virginia. And they're going to Virginia. Well. They're driving, but it's still going to be money. It's still going to be money. Yeah. I, I can't, can't imagine, like... It won't be as it, much as going to Taiwan. Yeah, going to Ch Taiwan with four people is cheap. Just the plane tickets alone. I mean, they, they yeah, have places really, to stay and everything. Yeah, but really, all they have to do is, play, is pay for the plane tickets. Yeah, but I think it's like $1,400 a person or something. Like no, that. I don't think so. I think they got a fairly good deal. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either uh, way, it's not cheap to go to Taiwan for four people. No, we can't. Definitely not. But, uh, but when you stay with family, at least you don't have to pay for a hotel. Right. Which is nice. Yes. Um, yeah, I can ship to Canada if you want me to build you a cart. I just don't publish it because it's a pain. I used to ship, and I got I got fed <laughs> up with people rejecting my orders. Like, they get... The last one went... Uh, fucking weird. Norway? I don't know. No, Norway, they didn't ship to Uh... Solomon. <laughs> Maybe he'll get you some dick scampi. Jennifer couldn't get scampi dinner for her birthday, but gets foreign dick from Dan. It sounds about the same. <laughs> I don't know what scampi translates to, but it could be foreign dick. That'd be funny if that was a, trans that was a thing. Yeah. That would be funny if it was a thing. You guys Chicken. want this slow, comfortable screw? No. My birthday is today. Uh, uh, that's, no. that's a little unslow. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm let me slow it. No! Too fast, Ian. <laughs> There's nothing comfortable about that. So if I did it too slow, I wouldn't be able to trap it. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so I was going to ship to Canada. Well, I shipped the last place to ship to. I shipped, I don't know, they pay, They didn't want to pay the duty tax, so they rejected it. Oh, no. It was no, two was, bottles of Cocktail and Sons. It was like to right? Greece or something, oh, okay. wasn't it? To Greece, yes. Two co bottles of Cocktail and Sons to Greece. So that's a total of $28, right? He paid probably 50 to ship it. It gets there, and they wanted him to pay $30 to import it, and then it had to go to a chemical analysis lab to figure out what the chemical makeup was of the product Holy before he can get it. Balls. So he was like, yeah, I'm just going can't, to... I can't do that. I'm like, oh. I understand. And that was when I was like... Holy shit. Holly loves your guts. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah. She loves both your guts. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I've been growing mine just for you. <laughs> so, I think that's supposed to be guys, but one. she loves your guts. <laughs> it's funny now that you say that could have been a guy. I love you guts. Oh, yeah. I love you guts. <laughs> that's so much better than guys. No, no, it's better that way. <laughs> yeah, don't change it. Don't change it. 
Love you guys would have been like, oh, thanks, but love your guts is fucking fun. Screenshot that shit. That's a post. I, I don't know. Guts. I can't screenshot. Yeah, That's a sacred screen. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Dane it? He's, Mike, he's telling you that he yeah. will ship to Canada if you I, want. I can ship to Canada. You just tell me what you want in your product, in your and he'll cart. cart. And I make a cart, put the shipping on there, and then I can email it to you so you can buy it. Uh, but I don't ship normally because people are assholes and they bounce the shipment back. So what happens is if you reject the shipment, I have to pay ship. I have to refund them. Right. Plus I have to pay their shipping. Plus DHL sometimes makes me pay to have it shipped back to me. So it costs you an awful lot of money. So to make uh, twelve dollars cost <laughs> me. Better than hate your guts. True. <laughs> so Very to true. make twelve dollars in profit cost me a hundred and thirty. Meh. That's not a good deal. No. So I'm like, I'm done. You I can't can send do alcohol. You just can't say that it's alcohol. Is there any way to legally send you guys to alcohol? It depends on where you are. I would love to send you Havana Club 7. Hold on. I have that, don't I? You have three. No, you have... Wait. Here's Havana Club 7. 7. This is Havana Club 7, Eric. You just sent it to me. Is that easy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, you should probably use it on the show. I, I think I already did. I reviewed it. It was okay. Uh, the one I didn't like. No, but you one. tend to use three a lot. Yeah, because yeah. it's always calls for light rooms. Yeah. I didn't care for this one. Agnos Reserva. The seven's pretty good. I just don't. That one's okay. Reserva. Reservation. <laughs> Necesito una reserva, por favor. <laughs> this, is a, this is a light room. They can use this in a light room. It tastes like a light room. Ooh, it's a little burny. Um, but it tastes like a light room. Mi boleto está aquí. Está Your toilet is here! My ticket. Hmm. Boy, let though. That El baño. Olympia, Olympia, Ella, Olympia, El baño. Por favor. Los días. You go to the bathroom every, all day. Every day. She cleans the bathroom every day. Oh. <laughs> that was one that the Duolingo did all the time. Eric, I have a PO box. I it's... have a poo box. That's where my cats go. <laughs> I have two poo boxes. My PO box you is. You only it... have one cat. Go to yeah, my so about. Have one litter box screen. plus one per cat. What? One box so you're, at, you're supposed to have one more litter box than you have cats. Really? Why? Because they want a choice. They poop that much. They need a choice. If they get, if they feel like they can't get to one because like there's somebody else in the house, you gotta they put it somewhere else so they can make. Because they're yeah. they're cagey little <laughs> bastards. Uh, my PO box is in the uh, about in the YouTube tab. I think it's called About. There should be a P.O. Box in there. <laughs> DJ's talking to P.O. Box. No, nobody ever sends me anything in my P.O. Box. Yet I spent $220 a year to hold it. You get it sometimes. Yeah. I, I did get an extra ice maker I gave Dan. There you go. Did I tell you about that? Did you know about that? No, they sent you another one of those clear things? Yeah. By mistake. They sent me two. One to each place. Did and I'm like, how did you get my P.O. Box? Did they you ask them if they wanted it back? And they're like, no, I'll just keep it? Yeah. I said, awesome. do you want this? I'm like, you can have it. I'm like, I sell stuff, and I know how much it costs to ship something like that back. But if you want it, I'll send it back. They're like, no, you, well, you know anybody who can use it, or do you need to? I'm like, I'm fairly certain I can find somebody who will use it. It's like, okay. <laughs> like, hey, Tim, yeah, you need nice did say that. What was that? He might have mentioned something. Like I said, I don't listen all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he listened to him halfway. Well, I said to him last, uh, a couple months ago, because, well, because, like, you go over there, and sometimes when we run out of ice, me and Dan have to go to the store, and that yeah. sucks. And that ice maker makes ice pretty quick. Yeah, it's probably so. got a whole thing of ice up there now. Yeah. So, I like to make it, and you can bag it and put it in there. So if, right. And Dan's cheap. Like, Dan will spend money on women, but he's not going to buy fucking ice if he doesn't have to. Right, that's ridiculous. Right, so... So if you can get Something him to bag it... for free? Yeah. Yeah, he'll just throw it in. You know, he'll bag that shit up ahead of time and throw it in his thing. And then women or the ice? <laughs> Both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As long as you don't have to murder anybody. <laughs> you can use regular glasses. It's not a huge pain for me. It's just costly for you, is what I'm saying. Like, if you want to spend the money, that's fine. But, like, the problem is when you ship... Here's the funny thing with our products. If you ship something overseas, is or anywhere, even to Canada, it's $15 flat rate just for them to look at it. Yeah. Right? So, if they spent... 70 to ship it plus say 30 on the product there's 15 dollars that's like the cost of the product just for them to go yeah it looks good right and fill out the paper you got yelled at for taking that photo by who so i'm guessing the shop owner they, sh they what the fuck would you yell at his family you? 
I just said I got yelled at when I took the photo. Well, I'm guessing. Julie, and no, I no, she, she would yeah. laugh. Yeah, she would laugh. Why would they yell at? They do that over there. Like they get mad at you for taking a picture of their shop. Oh, like yeah. what? You're gonna go to Amazon and find it cheaper? If they make wooden penises, maybe that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, maybe no. that's a thing. <laughs> They're like, don't photograph my wooden penises. Whatever you do, <laughs> no pictures of the penises. <laughs> Like, Don't that? you see the sign here? It says. Da, da, da. <laughs> Can't you read? Right. <laughs> Don't you see? It says. Da, da, da. <laughs> Where's Dan? Very understandable, Ian. Where <laughs> is yeah. my penis? <laughs> I think it's attached to you. Yeah, it's, it's uh, not. It's somewhere about, around. It's about here. <laughs> oh no, Ian! It's not a looking goat because that was funny. There you go. Looking goat's good. Yeah. Wait. Does that mean you want to lick his penis? I don't understand. I don't understand. You're not from Maine. You don't get it. <laughs> I haven't got to say anything yet. I'm just waiting for it to send. I, I don't know. Maybe that's what it means. Licking goat. <laughs> like, that means like my penis in Maine. Speech. Where's my penis? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you infer from that? I think you would With infer no context. that yeah, you wanted your penis licked. There's never any context. I just text some random shit all the time. <laughs> Where's my penis? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really asking you, where's my penis? And I'm sending you a licking guilt. Licking. You know what that means. Oh, find some more. Hold on. Oh, I could be that. Here's Bill Cosby sucking on a jello on pop. Jello pop. Oh, that's wrong. Repeated over and over like this. Yep, that's boomerang. That's yeah. good. Oh, I love boomerang. Me gusta. Me gusta. I'll send that one too. Yeah, so send him a bunch of pictures. I'm sure his data plan is very uh, forgiving in Taiwan. Yeah, he's got, he's he's got, got his phone. Oh, that's right. He's on the... Yeah, yeah he's fine. I have he's the company phone. phone. Yeah. yeah. He's, I can send him as many GIFs as I want to. They just don't have... It's Apple, so you actually can't... If you type penis, you won't get anything. Yeah, of course. Like, Apple's like all like... They're like PC. China only PC, in yeah. America. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Chinese Americans. Yeah. Which is Dan. Which is Dan. Uh, Taiwan, Taiwan might not, not China. be part of China, but whatever. It's like the same thing. Main China, well, main Taiwan. It's, it's Asian. Does it's anybody Oriental. know the difference yeah, here? See? It's Oriental. They're all the same. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did we lose everybody? They yeah. Just, uh, I haven't seen a comment in about five we, minutes. We I'm haven't, guessing. Then we, yes. we we deserve two of it. Yes. No, my screen locked. Oh, well, that makes more sense. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, now I feel like I'm I'm Did letting everybody down by not actually responding to them. Did they say anything? Oh, there we are. <laughs> God, there was shit. Can you add that Am I checking Jen's purse for wood dildos? What? That was, You're spoiled no. for life, Diana. Well, There's no going back. Wood dildos have splinters. Oh, I think they polished them. Oh, uh, they polished them. A Maybe galleon of... For... Uh, what? Do you know a good substitute for a galleon of have wall bangers? What? A galleon is a big ship. <laughs> okay, so let's assume he says gallon. Do you have a good substitute for a gallon of... Ha Harvey Wallbangers, I uh, eat yeah, orange juice. <laughs> like, what does that mean? A gallon of Harvey Wallbangers. What's this? What am I substituting? <gasps> oh, is that Galliano? Oh, yeah, maybe. There we go. Yeah, we figured it out. Uh, what do we win? The Da Vinci Code? <laughs> <laughs> you can't substitute Galliano in a Harvey Wallbanger. That's what makes all a Harvey Wallbanger. And if I said something I mean, else, you somebody could, you would tell somebody, and they'd be like, "Who the fuck told you that?" You're the only liar. things I can think of that would be close in flavor would be a uh, absinthe. No, I'm, well, an absinthe, but I'm thinking uh, sambuca. Yeah, I think sambuca that's like the same thing. Absinthe. Yeah. Huh? Sambuca would be sweeter. I, I, I sambuca. Makes no, I think so. Yeah. But Harvey yeah. Wallbanger, you're I mean, floating it on yeah, the top. You need the. Yeah. You, you need use the sambuca. Sambuca is fucking f everywhere. Well, wherever you are, there's something that has a anise flavor have you guys seen the lady that does the grapefruit thing for guys you know what i keep meaning to buy grapefruits when i go to the grocery store <laughs> after washing that i don't know she's a little loud but you what know. the fuck are you you even know what she's talking about yeah i know what she's talking about because <laughs> you were like fucking riffing he off watches, that like you guys some shit everything and you were surprised that they talked asked. about it on the radio so i oh, looked really? at yeah it's a lady who hollows out a grapefruit and warms it up and uses it as a, like uh when she's giving a blowjob she can put the grapefruit there and she's like he'll never know the difference I'm Wait, like, so she rubs I'm like, oh, I'd like to know if I know the difference. Yeah, yeah you will. You don't look down to wash. Well, no, but now she's down there. She's like, oh, 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 and she's making noises like crazy. Right, but, <laughs> but it's, it's like, not that far down there. You just look down. But it's like a serious instructional video. She's not joking. She's not, she, it's really how to, oh, really? how to make a grapefruit 
Yeah. Blow job? Standing for your blowjob? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't I guess maybe sting? it saves your throat. You don't have to go so deep or something. Wouldn't I don't it know. sting though? I, it's got acid. Things I don't know, but I want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to fuck up grapefruit. It seems pretty easy. It, it doesn't seem very difficult. I think I can figure this out. Yeah. They have numbing spray. Numbing spray? If, if, yeah, for your yeah. throat. If you, if oh, you okay. I'm like, for blowjobs or for your dick? for, yes, for blowjobs. For your dick? No, <laughs> no it's not no, for, for your throat. For, for the person you don't you want it on your dick because then it's going to take longer and then they're going to next going to That's go. what I was wondering. I'm like, for, for the quick shots out there, <laughs> got to slow them down a little bit. They can't think of baseball. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they've given up on the tried and true methods of baseball and grandma. No. That's right. They I would hope, I don't baseball. know, but I would hope that like even those newbies, like blowjobs should take longer because it's not a vagina. Diane is about it's to go no, behind the bar and make her own freaking. You you tell him what you want and how to make it and <laughs> let him know that That's he's right. fucking it up. You just go do uh, it, Diane. Well, I think the problem is, you, well, you're at a chain restaurant. It's not a craft food. cocktail bar. And Where is she? How do you know this? Because I it was pay part of the conversation our, earlier. The is comments. that why you always look down when I'm looking at the camera? Yeah. Well, I should probably stop recording. Great I don't think I want to look at that because I feel like I'm eating weird ads. What? Look at what? What? Masturbation, grapefruiting, and blowjobs. Yes. What did you just turn off? Did you just turn off the camera? It was fucking recording still. Oh, okay. There's... Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you're getting weird ads. It... Right, now I get it. No, I get I get, I get, get some weird ads because I Google some weird shit. And because like, I'm like, I was curious about stuff. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Use uh, some... Uh... What's that flower that numbs your mouth? Uh, oh, uh, jamboo flower. Jamboo. flower. <laughs> jamboo flower. And it makes your hands smell like fish. It does. There's so many benefits to the jamboo flower. It's, it's ridiculous. So, so two things you don't want to do. You don't want to know anybody's penis if you're in a blowjob because you'll be there forever. Right. So make sure you do the throat thing and like, right. yeah, let it settle before. Yeah. And not the penis thing. Yeah. All right. And then you don't want to use grapefruit because I feel like the acid would be bad. Well, if you have a heart if condition you're... and you're on certain medicine, you might not want to do that. <laughs> I don't even know how that works. Right, so, like, if they shave... I'm, I'm going to let you guys know. <laughs> you're going to report back next month. I'm going to report back next month. We're going we're gonna to okay, find, here's, here's, find out what this grapefruit is Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, if you're going to fuck a grapefruit, be yeah. very quick. Because the longer you're in there... The raw you get, the more the acid. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, Supposedly it's all. You got to get That's in and says. out. I don't know. You got to get in and out. We'll see. So you better have some porn up when you do that. It probably smells good. Right, nothing yeah. like having. Yeah. Well, my shaving cream is grapefruit, right? Well, you should try that. Yeah. yeah, so it's like the same thing. <laughs> there you go, no. Chrome has an incognito. But I think he's concerned about the fact that this is recording, it's going on the live stream, and YouTube's always listening, so they gotta find these keywords that we're talking about, and they gotta feed back to his. It's Dude, all, he's I big brother use, word. You gotta use incognito. You got tinfoil hat on. I use incognito searches all the time. That's how I search for myself, because otherwise it's gonna Incognito. Yeah, well, if you get to search for yourself, you don't want to click That's how I visit Pornhub. Right. You got to oh, search smart. Because if you don't, it sits in your cache. <laughs> and then every time you get an ad, it's for fucking crazy shit. Mm, you never clear your cache? No, because then uh, everything you actually want gets cleared. Uh, short and fat. What? <laughs> <laughs> how do you pick the perfect grapefruit? I'm guessing. Uh, I don't no, know. No, the perfect grapefruit for date night is uh, large and microwave for 15 seconds. 15 seconds? Yeah, they just, just, just let sit. hole in a pumpkin and warm it up. Just let's sit around and be room temperature. See, J Bomb uh, knows how it's done. But you want to be a little warm. You want to be 96.8. If you're going to fuck a grapefruit, it's not stay it should there. feel so, like I mean, a pussy. Maybe it's got to be the right temperature. Go in, but it's not no, like there. you might grab it right when you're there, or when you're ready. Ian and then Eric Jen, you... VM favorite liqueur. I don't know what that means. Me neither. <laughs> it's. Oh, I don't know the. Favorite liqueur? Favior. Eric, what the fuck? Uh, What's the VM? I don't get it. I think that was a mistake. Virtual machine. That was a mistake. Okay. Okay, your favorite liqueur. My favorite liqueur. Let's just assume that's what he means. I think liquor. Benedi liqueur. Benedictine. It's liquor. I would say. Yeah, Benedictine. I'm going to go with rum. That's a spirit. It's li liquor. Warm grapefruit. Liqueur. Yeah, you don't so, want to write grapefruit water on it. So that's liquor or liqueur? Big. There's a difference, right? Yeah, you need to specify so liquor you, or liqueur. Usually when I, see, when I hear liquor, I think like a liqueur. Versus well, I a liquor, spirit. I just think spirit in yeah. general. Yeah. So my favorite, well, how about this? My favorite liquor is rum. My favorite liqueur. I'd go with Benedictine. That's good shit. Yeah, that's good shit. It's either that or orange liqueur. Like or, something, uh, something, like some uh, 40, uh, 43. A liquor 43 is pretty good. That's pretty good. So have I you got that blue cherry bay? Key lime. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, fuck. I don't know what I'm to do with that. There's a, Every liqueur is good. It's hard to pick one. Not, well, Amaretto. Oh, that's like saying, what's your favorite Skittle? 
<laughs> oh. Is or Frangelico. Cool, yeah, yeah. Frangelico. Yeah, yeah. Alfredo's probably I, good. It's hard to pick I one. I, I'd have to go Benedictine, though. Just because I like Benedictine. Benedictine's if i got to pick one. See, I'm going to yeah. go with Amaretto with the runner-up of Benedictine. Yeah, Amaretto's probably the one I'd go with, too. Or Midori. But it's got to be Deserano. We already We're just giving you our time, Eric. Midori would be good. Sorry. Yeah, Midori's pretty good. Midori, like, in a pin, Midori pineapple juice vodka. Midori My favorite liqueur is in here, I'm pretty sure. Root? I have so much liqueur. Dude, that is the cabinet that never gets used. No, no. Hey, did you, did you, were you looking for this? Yes. It's right here. Great. <laughs> I just see his kid tone. Oh. Well, there you go. It's there. <laughs> Uh, liquors or liqueurs are a pain in the ass. Well, if I it's have a somebody. liqueur, it's DiSerrano. If it's an actual spirit, it's Derek rum. or Eric, that was a horrible spelling of DiSerrano. <laughs> I like it's Benedictine. Ben Benedictine is my favorite liqueur. My favorite spirit might be. He likes it so much. He he fucking did this weird shit where like <laughs> just, just trying to save it and it's not working. It's nice. I don't have any bugs in it yet. That's working. <laughs> it's but it's not that time of year either. <laughs> No, the flies are out. Not the fruit flies. Not the fruit flies. I might go, not I not might go rum or whiskey. I don't know. Whiskey sounds like a lot of character, but I like rum too. Vodka is awful. Yeah, go vodka with doesn't rum. Count. If, if you like rum, if you like vodka, you'll love rum because it tastes like something. <laughs> no. Yeah. Vodka tastes like nothing. Right. If you like vodka, you like something nothing. that tastes like nothing. You like fucking sh I don't go know, for fish Patron. and chips. Like what, what, about, like what about Derek? You He's like a big Patron. I don't understand why he I likes don't vodka. Get I don't but that well, so he can because only it's have a, that because it's, it's part of his act. Diet. Of his diet. 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 But but it's in vogue, so it's like fashionable to like vodka. Because right, he would do that because he's low cal. It's, it's not really low cal. Vodka soda, vodka soda. It's not low cal. It's still sixty no, it's, to eighty calories per ounce. It's still a alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol is alcohol, and there are seven calories per gram. Right. So if you have if you have two ounces, if you have two drinks, there's just no sugar added. Well, there, no, that's not true. Some vodkas do have sugar added. It yeah. doesn't even matter because you're still getting 80 to 180 calories, 160 calories per drink. So if you have yeah. a vodka tonic with two ounces or let's say 1.5, that wouldn't be out of the way. You're, it's, it's the same as like a and fucking And if it's not a diet tonic water, there's a lot of sugar in the tonic. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of sugar. Oh, our ginger beer? No, forget about it. But like <laughs> none of that shit. Like <laughs> you get a Sam yeah, White or you can get a, you can have two Michelobes. <laughs> Rick Ultra. You can have like six. Well, that's expensive. You can have like six Mick Ultras for the price of like a, a vodka tonic. For the caloric price. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I price, price, price. No, we don't have the price. Gin instead of vodka. I could buy that. Vodka cranberry juice. Vodka cranberry juice is amazing. Guess what else is amazing? Rum and cranberry juice. Mm. <laughs> rum and anything. Right. Yeah. Dark rum and cranberry juice. We're gonna have to make some more rum. Mimi's drinking a lot of rum. You sell like four <laughs> bottles in there. Well, me and Mimi, I didn't say Mimi. You guys, they, they drink about yeah, a stop bottle. Stop shifting blame. <laughs> I like to shift On blame. a full day, they drink a bottle. This is, this is a day. This, this was one afternoon. And you can have like a nice aged sip This is also like your bad blue. Three hours. Yeah. I know Jen. <laughs> I know Jen. Color me not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I'm Don's not mother. So, you paint me as an alcoholic, and I am offended, Ian. Look, this, <laughs> well, uh, welcome to the day and age. <laughs> Before and after. So, so I made a. So here's the problem. I made a rum punch. I made what did I make? Punch, planter's punch, punch, right? So I used a half a bottle for planter's punch. The problem is, and I made it all ahead of time, so I just showed up with the planter's punch done. Guess what happened? Mimi could serve herself. It. No, she could drink it herself. So she just would go in and report it all. She's like Jalitha. You can't let her right. pour her own drink. Right. <laughs> Only she doesn't pass out as early. Right. 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 Yeah. So like with Jalitha, if I'm making the drinks, I control her drinking. The minute I fucking turn around and I look back, I'm like, why do you have drunk face on? Now Mimi is Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Don's uh, Don, Don, Don's, old, yeah. Don's mom. Yeah. Don Senior's wife. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The cook. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She makes excellent food. Yes, she does. Some of it has laced with marijuana. Regardless, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Rega or irregardless, if you want to be my old boss. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, see, so you have to learn how to like gin. I didn't like gin either, but yeah. now I do. Because we had the Dorchester. Where are you yeah. saying gin? Take some getting used to. Mike said, whiskey, rum, tequila, then vodka. Everyone else can have my share of gin. Yeah, you just got to work into it. It's like red wine. 
Like when I first had Merlot, remember? Were you there? You were there. drinking a stinking Merlot. Yeah. Was, no, it wasn't sideways. It was uh, me. No, uh, hey, no, you and Luke. That's yeah. Pinot Noir, right? Sideways. Oh, with Luke. Yeah, yeah Luke. <laughs> okay. Luke. Me and Luke went to. We went. Luke and I, since I did graduate from college, <laughs> went to. Uh, what was it? Shaw's or whatever the fuck. The, I, uh, yeah. Was that? I think it was we we went and we we're like buying a bottle of Merlot. And he's like, I, I really want to drink red wine. I'm like, cool, me too. <laughs> so we bought the bottle. And I took it. And I took it. We weren't. Because, you ever seen Luke? Come on. No, we, we weren't. If I was no, gay, really, we weren't. If I was gay, it wouldn't be with Luke. So, but he may be gay. He could be a man. He could be gay. Uh, but, hey, Have you talked to Luke any no. time recently? Yeah. I always want to know what happened to him. I don't like yeah, him. I know, right? Matt got married, but I don't know about Luke. Well, we went to his wedding. And Luke it, in, a, in real life or in a like, virtual world? No, in real life. Oh, okay. No. no, I know because he was the Masters of Orion guy, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so me and Luke drank, Luke and I drank this bottle of Merlot. I had like maybe a glass and a half and I was like, dude, this is rough. Like this is tough to drink. And he's like, I paid for it. Well, he paid for half, whatever. So he will drink it. Like he, yeah. and he would, he finished it. And I, we did it over and no, over. Most of the Until we figured out how to drink Merlot. <laughs> like that is how you, like that's the shit you gotta do. Yeah, In college. It's like listening to country music. You do it until you like it. <laughs> there you go. I'm waiting. I like country music. I'm still waiting. Yeah, you've listened to a lot of it, haven't you? I have. <laughs> but like that's what you gotta do. Like in college is when you experiment. So women go lesbian for a while. That's hot. Uh, guys, I don't know how to drink wine and, and and get into like things they've never had before. Whiskey and shit like that. I have not seen Ant Man yet, but I will maybe this weekend. I don't know. Sky's well. the limit. <laughs> he I has. Have the, I have uh, the time. Whatever he wants to do. Nemo said it was good. I heard it was good. Yeah, I heard it was good too. I don't know. What I did miss Deadpool too. Other over. What? The summer, though. I haven't seen that. He's before. been so busy. He didn't <laughs> Wait, get to Chris see Chris hasn't bought tickets for Ant Man. Uh, we were talking. Like I, I went down. We had uh, I had dinner with him the other day, and he said, "Hey, let's go see Ant Man." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Yeah, because that's usually you guys' thing. Yeah, no, yeah. Normally he's right on the tickets, but uh, we looked. And it's like, oh, he's like, oh, we don't have any seats for Thursday until like a later show. I'm like, no hurry. It's gonna be out for a while. We don't have yeah. to go right when it's out. We'll wait till there's some good sit seats. He's like all about like the buying movies. tickets for people. He, li he likes to involve people. He likes to he likes to do stuff with people. He I try and give him me. money. He's like, nah, 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 nah. yeah, no, he, he likes to be that guy. You know, he's a, he's a good guy. He, he is a good guy. Deep down, he's a good guy. Deep down, <laughs> not even too deep. He, he, he's he's a good guy. No, he, he, he is. He's a good guy. Anything else? Yeah, I want some single malt scotches, but no meds. Really. Okay, I'm come on. Malt. All right, stop. Fuck scotch right now. Just drink mezcal. Because it's so much better than scotch. Scotch, scotch is good, scotch. but both are pretty expensive. Totally there it goes no, but yeah, scotch is pretty expensive. Mezcal's not as expensive as scotch. I, are, you, are you thinking about like an scotch island scotch that's like smoky scotch. like mezcal? Maybe no, that's I, what thinking. you know what? I like scotch, but I love mezcal. And I don't drink scotch because scotch is like winter. Hmm. Mezcal's like... I saw a video time. by the, mod, uh, the Modern Rogue, I think. No there, more drinks, there, Eric. There are a couple guys and it was like how to drink... Uh, like whiskey, and they showed the four different ways to do whiskey and how to add water to your whiskey. Oh, yeah. Like, just a couple drops of water and open it up. And right. it, was, it was a good little talk. I mean, it was a lot of stuff that we we talked about right. it we we'd done before, but it was like a nice condensed. Yeah. You know, uh, well, condensed. It was like fifteen minutes, but it was a nice. Talk nice through Mezcal's to try the yell. Vita. Then you'll um, know, no. Then, no. Then you'll know you hate it. Okay. <laughs> don't ever. Don't, don't, don't do Vita. Monte Lobos. I don't have any Monte Lobos because we drank it all. This is. You pretty. have the bottle, with the empty bottles over there. So, that's good. That one's good. There's uh, the. Uh, is what's easy. the one with the? This is the. This is Monte Lobos. I'm thinking of the other one. Subro. Uh, oh yeah, that's good too. I don't know. We don't have that. The owl. I, I start started learning Spanish after I saw this bottle, so hmm. I don't remember what it's called. I think Burro? we drank it. El Burro? No. So Sobre. Yeah. Oh, sombre. Sombre. Oh, we drink sombre. We drink. The problem I have with mezcal, it unlike most of the here. stuff here, is I don't have any mezcal because we drink it because we love it. Like we bought this bottle a week ago. That was me and Jennifer figuring out if we liked it. <laughs> the verdict still out. No, we That's like fine. it. Oh, okay, good. But it's so it's, it's not. Smoky it's gotta drink. be citrusy. Like, like you could drink that. Where's your taste? You could drink that by itself. I could drink that on ice. It almost tastes. It smells a little bit sweet, almost. Yeah, yeah, it does taste sweet. Drink it. It's it's um fruity. If you can get this, they have four different varieties. They have multiple. This is a uh, what do they call it? Cranberry Company. What's uh, this group? But, but what are the what's the it's a it's a group of people. 
Oh, it's oh. Cranberry Grove Groves Association? No, it's Yeah, a, but it's a, uh, not a collective. That's, shit. that's, that's a Borg. <laughs> what do they call it when you have, like, a group of people all, the Cranberry Association. It's what is that called? I can't remember what it's called. Um, they might say it Do you there. have a Cranberry bottle? Or like, right there? It probably says it right over there. It's like a community, but not a community. Yeah. It's a, um... So, while they're figuring that out, uh, there's cranberry juice in one of those. Uh, Associations? Well... No, I mean, it's like that, but so, it, there's a word for it. There's Leenda like, is the word. brand. Leenda has like a, a region <laughs> for... Growers Cooperative. A cooperative. cooperative. It's a cooperative. So, say that, Jen? Um, Leenda is a cooperative. Say, say the word. Cooperative? Oh, okay. It's a cooperative. I heard so that's you're drunk. This is <laughs> you hear drunk. I gotta drive. I can't drunk. be drunk. Oaxaca is the so each one is a region. This one's the Oaxaca region. They have one for Durando or Duran or something like that. It's supposed to be pretty smoky. Is it Duran Duran or just no, one? Not like um fuck, I was thinking. Like wolf. Yeah. Um uh, but they have different they have at least Hungry four or five. Like uh Monte Lobos. Yes. They have one with a bat on it. They have so they have some that are smokier, some that are sweeter, some that are whatever. Some that are fucking expensive. Uh, this one's at the 50. Mezcal's always going to range from like 40, 40 to, up. Yeah. Not as much as scotch. Scotch is like up to like 180. This is usually up to like 120, I think, if you can find it. Uh, no, New Orleans glass doesn't really taper smokiness. New Orleans glass tapers the potency, the alcohol. Uh, we've had mezcal in our New Orleans glass. It's always been tasty. Yeah. It's just it's it removes some of the alcohol, but you still keep that smoke. Probably because the smoke is fucking prominent. You can't eat. You can't go anywhere. This isn't that. Did you try? What did you think of that, Ian? It's um, like a sipping mezcal. It's not that smoky. That's. This is smoke here. I don't know. It, it was okay. It tastes like mezcal. I didn't. I it didn't. was fruity. Did maybe, you get maybe, fruity? Maybe a little fruity. I was trying to taste fruit, and I don't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> You can't try and taste fruit. You just have to taste it. Well, you said it, so it was. It was yeah, in my I mind. know. I ruined it for you. You I'm ruined sorry. my discovery experience, I'm sorry. Jim. Sorry. <laughs> Alacron. Alacron. We have that, don't we? What's Alacron? I don't know. Is that the one that, that we have? Sounds familiar. That's not much to think of. That's the one. White bottle and the logo is a scorpion. I don't think we have Alacron. Yeah, we do. We have that. That's a tequila, though. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's in a black bottle. Is that white bottle? No. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's not a white bottle. Huh. Yeah, that's not mezcal. It's not mezcal. Oh, they might, maybe they have one. No. Maybe they have one in a white bottle. Oh, they, maybe the mezcal's white and the oh, maybe the is black. White. There you go. The black. That would did he? You want me to say it too? Make it official? <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe the tequila's did he say black, that? the mezcal comes in a white bottle. See, there you go. Did I say that first? No, it's official. Yeah, White Falls, Mezcal. Oh, I didn't know they had Mezcal. Well, we don't have that. The problem well, is we, we only have, have, yeah, we only have certain. <laughs> we only have so many. We have a lot of Mezcal considering, but not a lot of Mezcal. Considering what it was like. Considering, years like, ago. here's Mexico and here's us. Right, we're way up there. Yeah, that's up there. This is Mexico. <laughs> this is us. So you're going to get what you're going to get. And we get a lot. So I figure if we buy all the Mezcal at, at the New Hampshire liquor store, oh. they'll keep buying more. What's the name? How do I type that name? Alacron? Ala? No, no. Mezcalas de uh, Leyenda. No, the one he's L E Y E N D A. L E Y E N D A. Yes. Leyenda? Oaxaca? Mezcalas de Leyenda. So we have Oaxaca. There's something that starts with a D. There was another one there that had a uh, different region. They're all different states that sell. Hoven? No, Hoven means silver or young. I knew that. It's you like, should know that, Ian. It's I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Whole, young? That yeah. seems like fucking Spanish 101. Well, it's not. How old are you? I'll tell you, it's not in the lesson yet. Well, I don't know. Younger brother is not Hoven. It's May Mayor. No, that's older. Maynor is the younger. That's not what I'm saying, though. <laughs> Hermano Mayor. I'm saying Hoven is unaged. Oh, Mezcal is super tough to get in Canada. You guys got to get more Canada. Well, you got to go Mezcal. all the way through a whole other country. So. Yeah, you got it. Canada, Mexico here, Canada here. And then you've got in the middle. America's hat. 
Mexico is his trousers. And in the middle? Hey, no, no, shoes. In the middle, you got no, Trump. That's like Costa Rica. And, like, and Trump's, not gonna, All right. Trump's not going to let Mezcal in. Socks, then. Fucking, fucking wall for Mezcal. That's like Yucatan. And... <laughs> Mexico's the Yucatan, pants. Yucatan, that is Mexico. What's the country I'm thinking of? Because there's <laughs> Panama at the bottom that borders South America, right? Criante. That's Honduras. That's good. Central America is mm. the socks. Okay, sure. All right. Smoky. Okay. Mexico's the pants, damn it. <laughs> Mexico e la pantalones de tan Italian you need you need all this stuff. Los Estados Unidos. Yeah. Even I can do that, and I only have three years of Spanish and ten years of German. What do you got? I have 111 days of Spanish. <laughs> 111 days. 110 days. Sorry. So you're only doing? Are you doing just Duolingo? Yeah. So you think you're? I'm doing Duolingo, and I'm doing speaking to people who work, who speak Spanish. Does it work though? Yeah, like saying. Duolingo? Because I know I know enough German that I haven't got to any area that really tricks me yet. Well, because you're not far enough along. No, but I want to complete every level, so I'm always yeah, well, yeah, I understand. stuck at the beginning. Um, I I mean, like, it helps. It There's helps. I, mean, I, of I come in and I say stuff to uh, the lady at the cash register, the cafeteria, who helps me out. She's really good. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's right. I use Google Translate to figure stuff out too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Google Translate's got like, it starts you in the path, but you just got to be careful because sometimes yeah. they'll call. Like you like go up to somebody like, "Hey, you look like a homosexual." You're like, "No, <laughs> those aren't the right words." <laughs> now the thing about Duolingo is it keeps you on. Like if you want to keep your streak going, you got to keep at it. So what yeah. it does is it, it it helps you stay stay consistent with yes. doing something on a on a yeah. regular basis. Right, which is challenging for anybody. Yeah, I mean that's the big challenge, right? So it's part of the routine for me now, so that's easy. Yeah. I can go and I can do, you know, 100, 200 experience yeah. points a day in the morning yeah. while I'm having my coffee. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> me gusta. <laughs> he said he figured my wife would find more enjoyment in the photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, where's my penis? And he just said, just look down. <laughs> See? <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, everybody. That's the same advice we gave you. We had to text Taiwan to get the same stuff. That's right. I had to go 12 hours into the future just to know what was happening. I would go to Mexico all the time. Father-in-law has a second house in Ensenada. 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 That's a salad. You can't have a house in a salad. <laughs> no, that's an ensalada. Uh, <laughs> L. Yeah. Hey everybody. And Sonata. Next month I'm going to see if I can do Mezcal Month. I just got to come up with five. I want to find well, five we good Mezcal cocktails. What did he say? It was the Clearwater Revival? <laughs> Fucking, did Ooh, he send it to me in an email? Good. No, it was a mil clear mill. No, he sent it in. Oh yeah, the... I can't, I, that doesn't help me. The clarified milk one? Yeah. Yeah, so, if Solomon has to send that as a, like a fucking email or some shit. Oh yeah, I don't know why I didn't say that. Feliz Good one, Solomon. Feliz cumpleaños, Jen. Ah, uh, yes. Disfruta tu cumpleaños, Jen. Have your fruit. Enjoy it. Disfruta tu cumpleaños. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. We just communicated in Spanish. We did. We're awesome, Ian. High five from far away, Jen. That doesn't hurt that way. <laughs> uh, here, if you want a good mezcal with some nice smoke, go with Montalobos and then work out from there. Yeah, like Solomon, yoga. email that drink to Derek because it's way up in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you you got to put it in like recipe. If you put recipe dot, recipe at alcedrinks.com, wait, recipe at everydaydrinkers.com because I'm going to be doing a search for the word mezcal to find drinks. And if there aren't enough in there, I'll go search. Yeah, go Montalobos, Edward. I usually pee, Steve, because I'm not, I don't drink that much, and I'm lazy and tired. You pee straight? Is that what you Do you said? guys hang out at the bar? <laughs> Steve, uh, Ian doesn't... I usually pee straight. <laughs> Ian doesn't typically hang out because he likes his bedtime rituals. Yeah. He hangs out until bedtime. Come so, on. Yeah. Give him credit. If, da if Dan, Dan and Julie will stay here, here until, until two or three. Yeah, late, late. Uh, yeah. But... Yeah, and when they don't, the kids are like, why yeah. are we leaving? Why they're all confused. <laughs> yeah, if they leave at like one, they're like, why are we leaving so early? They're all confused. It's weird. Yeah, we don't really go to a bar. We usually drink at each other's houses. Yeah, there's we, 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 we drink way too much. When we go to a bar, 
it costs a lot of fucking money. Yeah. Like, it, it always costs It's money. nice to go to bars every once in a while, because some, some, yeah, some have some cool... Have you been do. to Codex no, in it's Nashua? A, no, I haven't been there Oh, you gotta yet. check that out. It's kind of cool. I mean, the drinks are okay. I mean, it's a craft cocktail bar. It's, uh, they make some... I just yeah. make... They make some classic cocktails, and the, the standard classic cocktails they make, I find better than their house cocktails that they oh, make. Oh, really? I mean, the, you know, because the, they're inventing them rather. Yeah, than, they're inventing right, new right. cocktails, and so I, I just wasn't a fan of the ones that I had over right. the classic cocktails mm-hmm. that they make. Will you ever have your dad? I, you should oh. have your dad on here. He'd be a fun guy on here. He'd be funny. Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> during the summer he think, camps. Every right, weekend. my father's not around. Didn't kick out of your dad, I think. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, Steve's cool. He's a cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's a cool guy to hang out. He's a good guy. Yeah. If you could picture my personality with the guy from Ranch. Yes, like, the father. He's pretty much the father from Ranch. Oh, my dad yeah. was fucking. He's pretty sh- conservative. He's got the mustache. Oh yeah, and he would look at you and say, "What the fuck are you wearing right. on your feet?" <laughs> he <laughs> would. Like, he, he would, would say that. <laughs> if you've never seen the Ranch, go to Netflix, watch yeah. the Ranch. It's Sam Elliott. Watch Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. If you know Sam Elliott, he was in Roadhouse. He was yeah. in The Big Lebowski. Actually, but he's—I don't know how he plays in the other roles that he plays. But in the Ranch, he is my dad. <laughs> yeah. Like. And I told him that, and he watched every fucking season. And he did, and he loved <laughs> it. He loves the show. Bo Bennett, yep. He, lo- I mean, he must love that show. Yes, Dan yeah. is yeah. the Bo Asian Bennett. dude. Yes, yes Bo Bennett. the Asian dude. But it, it, I, it, I will try and figure out how to have my dad on here. It just has to be a tequila. It'll be, well, it'll be after, too. He, it'll have he to be, camps every Yeah, it Friday. would be like... Was it, it lychee martinis? After. What's his drink? Pear no. martinis? Uh, pear, yeah, pear, pear martinis. Pear martinis. Pear martinis. Yeah. I have to have him make his signature drink yeah, on the show. Yeah, you can make his signature drink. And like Yeah, Tombstone. He's been so many good things. But it will have to be after summer. Because yeah, he camps every He's week. half Taiwanese. He's busy. So he is half Asian. He's half Asian, yeah. That's why yeah. he's in Taiwan right now. No, he's definitely Asian. Like, you're right on... Like, yeah, but his sister is way more Asian than he is. Yeah, I know. Must like, be a, a female Asian. trait or maybe yeah. it's just yeah. a certain trait. I found out yeah. we're like, like my mother's side of the family is half Norwegian. Well, that's cool. You should go to Norwegian. <laughs> just go visit the home Scandinavian. Norwegian. I didn't know I had any Scandinavian at all. I'd like to go cool. to Norway. I hear they have wonderful fjords. <laughs> I'd love to see the Norwegian fjords. Well, there we go. Road trip. I want to see. Boat trip. <laughs> yeah. I want to see uh, Ragnar. <laughs> have you what, watched Vikings? Right. No, I haven't. On the History Channel? No. You Dude, what are you like doing it? tonight? I know of it, but I haven't seen it. You probably like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently actually watching The Walking Dead on Netflix. Okay, um, when you're finished... Oh, did you start it? Yeah, I've gotten through season three, and I'm on... the fir- I've watched the first season, episode of season four, I think. When you get it, through... It's, it stays pretty true to the comic. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, they killed Andrea off. Uh, yeah, way before. Way earlier. Yeah, Because yeah. I think I mentioned Andrea, maybe you, and you're like, who? I'm like, yeah. Andrea, she's like the main gar- the main female protagonist in the, sh- in the but yeah, they kill her off in yeah. the show early. Yeah, they do. I like that. I'm half Norwegian, so. And so then I'm Tyrone is different. Like Norwegian cocktail. Tyrone, they found wandering through the prison, but in the comic, Tyrone was a prisoner. Yes. Yep. Um, Daryl and Merle and don't exist. exist. Neither yeah. is Merle. I don't think in the comics. Who? Daryl's brother. Michael Rooker. He played Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy. No, I think he was. She was in the comics. Shiger? Biohazard. I I'm guessing that's Merle. not the name. In the very names. beginning. He wasn't in the... I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Trey's uh, in there. The only maybe person who dropped the end bomb. I thought he was in there. <laughs> Trey. But yeah, no, it's, it's cool to watch because you're seeing all these different things. Yeah, like, it's kind of seeing their interpretation of the comics, basically. Yeah, like Lori died differently. I think yes, Sophia died differently. a lot of differently. Died differently. Yeah, there's a lot of different deaths. You, yes. you, you thread-jacked me. You I should did. go watch the Vikings. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Are all the seasons out there? On Vi- oh, uh, on I, don't, I don't know. I figure there's enough there that I can, they can, catch up, I, can yeah. I can watch until there's... Oh, you don't have Hulu. I don't know if I can use it anywhere else. Besides Amazon. You have Amazon Prime? Yeah. yeah, yeah I got Prime. Amazon Prime. Who said Walking that? Dead? It was like My two mom. days ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Vikings. Oh, we're still talking about that? <laughs> no, it's good. It's a good show. <laughs> You're already watching no, the other I show. Know, I know people are big fans, so I, yeah, maybe I'll check it out. We have one there's episode. so many good shows out there. It's, you know, it's tough to be a TV nut in this day and age. There, there are a lot of good You're never going to remember all the quotes. I know, but well, the thing is, I like. I you just have to watch it once to I, remember all the quotes. Come yeah. on. I want to watch all the comic shows. Like I want to watch all the DC and the Marvel shows. Oh yeah, yeah. It's because I hear Punisher is great. I want to see the Flash. I want to. Yeah, see I that. heard and Liam watched the Flash. Like, like the Flash. I got into like season three of Arrow. I got to get back to Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of them. There's like 23 <laughs> episodes per season of Arrow. They're an hour. Well, and long. there's a lot of. I'm not half black. Shows. It's just my cock. Anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, he said half black, falling from the waist down. Get it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, because he got lost on when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my cock's black, because I used to run around naked as a kid in Florida. A lot of sun. And it stayed? It does. I don't know why. Oh, I, that's weird. I don't know why the tan stays. It's weird. Too much anal. <laughs> I, no, because that blocks the sun, actually. <laughs> anal is UV protection. Yeah, but it makes it brown. Right. Yeah, but it's not like lemon juice or acid. It's not going <laughs> to You're right. It's not going to stain it. You're not going to. It might. Angostura. You're not going to fuck a <laughs> yeah. bottle of Angostura. Angostura bitters. See? That'll he's get been you. having sex with That'll get you a brown dick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, brown dicks are all about dark dicking it. <laughs> Angostura <laughs> anal. Uh, we'll see you guys next a month. Angostura. Angostura. Yeah. Wait, wait, Angostura. Wait, wait. We'll see you uh, at the beginning of next month, August. We'll do some mezcal drinks. That's it. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, wait. My shut off button's over here. I have to pee like the Dickens. Why is my beer like right here? Dickens? How does the Dickens pee? <laughs> oh, shit. Is this Charles Dickens? Is or is it, yeah, Dickens? isn't that like an author? It's like yeah, the Frost. Like, yes, it's like the... You wrote a Christmas carol. I have a wand. Yeah. It's a Frosty Dick. <laughs>